Hmm. Do I have audio in my thing? I didn't hear that. Ah! What are we debating? All right, cool. I've got sound. <laughs> ah, welcome back to the Shady Harbor. It's me, Little Fox. So I haven't been here for the last two days. I had one day of uh, fun, and another day of not so much fun. Uh, what, like, so I, so I, I, I watched like the original video of them talking, and and then I'm just like, my gosh, I need to watch the rest of this because there's like so many videos. There's so many videos. Like, hold on. Uh, here we go. Where is it not? Primary monitor? Yeah. This has got, like, so many different videos on this, like, insane thing. Also, like, yeah. I, so, basically, I'm just, just basically trying to put them in order now. <laughs> so I know what, what, what I'm going through, because there's just so many of them. I watched three. They're both milk. Yeah, <laughs> they're both. Yeah, as far as I know, like I, I wouldn't be surprised if they are actually fucking. If they both are just fucking with everyone, I'm on. I, I gotta be honest. That would fit both of their mo's at this point. Either that or um, uh, Kefos is doing the um, oh, what is it called, um. Aggressive compliance, or what do you call it? Basically, when um, someone is just 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 compliant to the point at which it's like a problem, it's like following the rules so hard that it hurts people. Oh, where is it? Da, 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 da. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, honestly, be if you're both of them. <laughs> Throughout this, I think both of them were a bit cringe, <laughs> from what I can understand. But like, it's so weird. It's so weird. I don't understand people like this. I don't. Ew, no. Uh, I, I, nah, nah. I don't like. Uh, nah, I don't like that. No, I don't want to think about my about YouTubers that I watch uh, like dating. <laughs> I mean, would... Hey, shame, how's it going? She's not poly, she's dating? Okay. I don't know. That, that, that's it. That, I, uh, huh. Alright, I'm... Popping on... One thing, and I'm trying to get through... Yeah, it was so weird. It's so weird. So weird. Hold on. I will get this sorted. Alright. Now. Order. Order in the court. Alright. Alright. I didn't know that Kevils did the sexy outfit stuff. I thought that she just wore sweaters and shit. Sweaters. Alright, so the first one. First one was Keffel's bizarrely calls me out. Bizarrely confronts me. That was the first one. And then Keffel's did a video after that, I think. Called Bad Empanada Won't Leave Me Alone and It's Creepy. And then. Oh, wait, what happened? 96 bottled waters and counting. Seriously, warn your friends, it brought you to your knees. You have long COVID? That's not good. Oh. Why is this so loud? Is it so loud for you guys? It's very loud for me.
We don't need we don't need the Elder Scrolls. Oh, oh Elder Scrolls Online, by the way, they they're bringing in a new class in June. <sighs> COVID sucks, and you hate so many. Stopped caring. Oh, you hate that so many stopped caring. Uh, I, I thought you like you hate so many COVIDs that you stopped caring. I'm like, huh? Um, alright, so what happened? Uh, Kevils blatantly lies. Kevils blatantly lies. Th th there's like eight of these videos, by the way. I, 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 I... This, this is just, just... This, this, like, I, 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 you know, if I was worrying about content, I, I'm playing the game as well, y'all. You realize this? I am playing the same game that uh, that everyone else is playing. Elder Scrolls Online, best game. <laughs> Careful, uh, is it's uh, like there's so many videos. So, so there's there's Kevils bizarrely confronts me, admits to doing what she's accusing me of, embarrasses herself. Bad empanada won't leave me alone, and it's creepy. Uh, Kevils blatantly lies and gaslights in search of cloud. Wait, well, hold on a second. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then there was, uh... <sighs> alright, alright, um... There's, there's, there, then there's, uh... Kevils is a massive liar and evidence proves it. Response to a hilarious video on me. Um... And then, then Kevils came out with this, this, this just, I watched this one, and I'm just like, people call this satire? Um, and then this one, uh, admits he has no principles in heated d debate. I, <laughs> I send such a high volume of death threats, I can't possibly be expected to remember them all. I fucking love that. I fucking love that quote. I need to turn that into a fucking meme. Oh my gosh, what a bad empanada of the day! Like, uh, like no, I'm not throwing shade on um, bad empanada. I, th I think I, I agree with him. Like, uh, like, no, no, sorry, I don't agree with him. I disavow. Definitely do not send death threats to people that deserve them because they obviously don't deserve them. And then, then I noticed that this is new. If you haven't subscribed already, Forest Valkai, Answers in Genesis, uh, not Answers in Genesis, fuck Answers, Answers of Genesis, they're the ones that are fucking with my, um, with my, uh, oh, oh, hey, hi, Mr. Lebongogwa, uh, bye. Yeah, don't, definitely do not, uh, do, do, do not, um, do not, uh, De definitely do not uh, send death threats, and definitely send all uh, justifiable death threats straight to the police. Yeah. So, yeah. Good channel. 100% recommend. If I get, if I have time, I might go through that. But, like, we'll see. Um, but answers in Genesis can get fucked. Also, why is there an Illuminati thing there? Did Fre Freeman citizens kill the unicorns? What? Oh, okay. Okay, this, this, this. But yeah, um, before we get into that, dailies, well, I, I will go into that. Uh, I will j jump into the videos straight away because there's so many of them. There's so much, like, bad and banana content. content. Freemasonry. So, a shame. Do you know the worst part? Answers in Genesis, the group that, um, that Forrest Valkai is uh, responding to, um, provide, um, uh, curriculum material for my nephew's school. So, yeah. Also, welcome back, Jojo Pep. It's been a while. I do remember you. Oh no, I've been locked down. But yeah, um, th this is something I'm interested in, you're, you're probably not interested in. Elder Scrolls Online has announced its new stuff. There's going to be a new... Um, a, a, if you're interested in that sort of thing, yes, a, a Elder Scrolls Online is a microtransaction-ridden mess, but, you know, it's my mess, and I like playing it still. Um, Bethesda is a bad company. 
they 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 do impose crunch on their employees and um over this year i'm expecting to see a lot of failure on the on the hands of uh bethesda as a company because they have cut uh a lot of the devs from the dev team because of the microsoft um cuts oh jojo i i feel you i am um yeah, Zenimax. Yeah, just the entire the entire blanket. Uh, Microsoft cut ten thousand jobs, um, including people working, including ID uh, under the Zenimax umbrella, Bethesda. So games such as Elder Scrolls Online, um, Fallout seventy six. Um, which, you know, like, you can like or hate Fallout 76, but you need to understand just how much work that dev team has put into it, and how much shit they get from up high. Like, there is a term in, uh, the Fallout 76 devs office for, um, uh, whatever that fucking guy's name. Who's the, who's the Bethesda guy? Bethesda... Senior? Yeah, Todd Andrew is, is is they call him the seagull, because all he does is fly in once in a blue moon and shit on everything. Quite literally, like that. That I don't remember if it was the seagull, but like what basically the nickname. I remember what the nickname meant. Yeah. Um, nuclear company needs to be assessed. Oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. Nuclear energy energy is sick. Just be safe and 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 don't. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, if you do get the job, you should totally, like, um, like, make it sure it's okay with the company, but, like, see if you can do, like, some social media posts dressed up as, like, Homer Simpson. <laughs> It'd be funny, but don't, don't do that. Oh, so I got to follow from Scotch Cub. Yes, I, I do need to watch some Scotch Cub. Bird Howard, but rather than Todd Howard, yeah. Yeah, because he just flies in and shits on, on everyone. Um, yeah, so, new season of the dragon, so that's, um, that, that is, um, that is, um, but the, uh, the Elisweer expansion, um, so unfortunately you need to own all of the expansions, or, or, just pay for a month of subscription and then get rid of it. In fact, you can actually start play that you could there is a free trial for the ESO subscription that actually gives you access to all of the previous DLCs other than the current one for like 15 if like I think in Australian it's like 15 bucks. Um whatever that is in American like 10 bucks. So you can pay 10 bucks and have access to the event if you want if you want. Um, again, like, it is, the subscription is shit. Also, I, I, I have not received my, um, promised, uh, gear that, uh, they said I was going to be. So, Season of the Dragon. Oh, that started! Season of the Dragon started, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet. I just want to get I just want to get through my dailies. So there's there is an event running right now. Which is cool. But yeah, they're adding a new class um and basically they're leaning into the um uh oh, what's his name? One of the Daedric princes uh which is basically Cthulhu. Basically there's a Cthulhu campaign coming up. In this game, which is cool. Spreadsheet simulator. I mean, those are my favorite. Um, hey, if you, if it, like, uh, Factorio was a huge one of those. If you like Factorio, you should check out, um, my friend Scotch Carb. I think he's streaming that at the moment. I'm not sure if he's streaming it at the moment. I'm just gonna check him out. Yeah, he is. Oh, he does. Oh, he streams on YouTube, that's why. I just connected with, um, like, an old housemate and friend, uh, from ages ago. Yesterday, yesterday, the reason I wasn't streaming was because I was playing Alien, an Alien tabletop RPG with uh, my brother and uh, a bunch of other friends, which is really fun. It is really fun. All games now have uh, microtransactions. Yeah, it's in a slow and unfortunate burn, and it's why I'm tr going to start trying to move 
um, away from Wizards of the Coast where I possibly can because they are going to continually try and push their license bullshit until they succeed. They've already tried it. It's, it's pretty bullshit. <laughs> oh, we rolled we rolled a one. Uh-huh. It is, is just like... Yeah. Well, they haven't yet. They haven't yet. Okay, Wizards of the Coast hasn't sold D&D playbase out yet, but they will. They will. They just will. See, my interest is, I, I really want to run a Traveller campaign, and I'm thinking about maybe doing a stream for that. So, hopefully that'll come up soon. I may need to cut down on the days I'm streaming soon as well, because of my living situation is just getting too hard uh mentally <laughs> for um me to be so far away from my partner um so we we're going to be talking about that so i might be streaming on different days different times um or less times depending on whether i have a, if i can set up at 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 his place or whether it's easier just to do it um but i but if I do have that extra time, I want to get uh, up to date with my back, my in, my entire backlog of streams, so I can have more space in my computer. And also, um, I want to be able to. Uh, sorry, I had a brain 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 fog. I swear I have long. I swear I have long COVID as well. My my brain frog fo brain. Brain fog has never gone away, but that could just be me being dummy. Bane frog. <laughs> ah, you thought that croaking was your ally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. I am getting old. No, no, no. This is, I, I honestly think I got brain damage from doing um, acid back in the day. I did too many drugs. Don't do drugs. Like, I know, I know that you know, I the the disavow joke, but like, <sighs> just stay safe. You, do, do, drugs, especially if you're already HD, like you can really really fuck yourself up on on um, hallucinogens. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, cognitive dysfunction. Yeah. It was fun at the time, but like. In hindsight, I've had more fun doing other things. People are much more interesting than drugs, honestly, in my opinion. Um, okay. Now, I don't have enough rubedo leather, so I need to find some. Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, so I was... If I have... If I do cut down on streams, then I want to start working more on, first and foremost, trying to get uh, stable employment again. And then maybe working on doing an RPG stream. So that would be fun. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of shit. There's a lot of problems with COVID. Um... All right. Oh my gosh, it's almost a full moon. I'm going to miss out though. It is kind of cool that you have to, it has to be a full moon for you to actually get lycanthropy in this game. It's just annoying that it takes ages to, like, actually do that. Um. Rubedo leather. What I'm doing now. If you're confused, where is it? Upper layer. Half height. Where are you? Tamriel Trade Center. There we go. I'm um, looking at uh, apparently a best VPN deal. No thanks. I'm looking at uh, Tamriel Trade Center, which uh, you can get an add-on as well for the game. Uh, but it basically tells you where to find the best price for stuff. Um, damn it. I hate how I have to... So this one is uh, at Rimmon's Outlaw, Northern Ellesmere. All right. We go into Northern Ellesmere. Housing crisis because the government doesn't care about tenants and treats houses as an investment first thing, which sucks. Yes. 
Yes, that's exactly right. Um, if you didn't know, I'm currently living with family. Um, in like uh, Mandra, so basically, I don't know if uh, I don't know what sort of like coastal country towns there are in America that uh, would be similar. Uh, but basically, we have such we have the widest roads, yet nobody knows how to fucking drive. I swear, they're either te you in Mandra, people drive ten kilometers over the speed limit. 10 kilometers, or, or they do 10 kilometers under the speed limit. There is no in between. They're either too fast or too slow. Um, and unless, unless they have a baby seat in the car or children, then it's 20 kilometers over the speed limit. No exceptions. Um, I don't understand it. I've almost died driving on the roads here more than anywhere else in uh, WA. And, uh, yeah, the other day, I, the, some guy got um, really angry at me on the road um, and uh, was, like, swerving around me, doing the thing. He was, like, flashing his lights, beeping his horn and, like, be, being, like, inches away from the my uh, rear, going at 110 kilometers per hour, which... uh 68 miles per hour um well yeah i he may have been annoyed at me because um i slowed down uh after he started um after he started tailgating me so i was i was in the overtaking lane overtaking someone else at the, the legal speed limit um perfectly at the speed limit and the guy behind me uh, decided to, like, start doing the tailgating thing. And uh, I was just not in the mood to deal with that bullshit right then. So I just, uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. A shame. Bogans. Um, yeah, uh, I, I slowed down and uh, basically trapped him behind me in the car next to me. So he got really angry at that. So, yeah. If you, I, I do need, I do need to get a sticker on my, um, on the back of my car. If you can read this, prepare to emergency stop. Like, because I do not give a fuck. The, the only problem with that was the, the, like, cause I, I didn't re I was having a ball of a time and, and for, and, um, oh my gosh, I like the perfect song came on, uh, Bruises by Fox Stevenson. Look that up. It's such a good song. But that came on like as this is happening, so I just like turned it up, and, like started listening to it, and like put and basically flipped him off the entire way. But the my, my the problem though was that when I stopped, I was just like I had so much adrenaline in my system, and I was just shaking, and I'm like, oh, this isn't fun anymore. Now I'm like shaking all over the place. Yeah, I need to get something like that, because, or like, I would, I do need to get a, um, I do need to get a rear camera and a front camera, because, like, the sort of shit that happens to me is just ridiculous, I need to, I need to record it, um, yeah, because, like, this guy was doing, was swerving from side to side on the road, like, he was, like, driving, he was practically in the emergency lane, which is, which was fucking gravel, like, he wanted to die, or at least kill me. But you know, fuck him. Don't don't fuck with someone who's got no no reason to live. <laughs> I got massive tremors from Omicron relapse. Yeah. Well, hey, at least uh, hey. But are you sure you got it from uh, from? Are you are you sure you got your tremors from COVID and not the uh, and not the the, the vaccine? You know. Oh, mm. no, 100%. Like, at the moment, if someone's, like, going to try... If someone thinks I'm going to be scared of them killing me from them doing stupid shit... <sighs> got another thing coming, buddy. Cooking stream. Cooking stream, uh, I have no idea. Um, I don't have the setup anymore here. So I had that set up at my old place. 
but it's harder here because I'm I'm specifically can only be in this. Um, I can only um, stream in this room because um, I do not want to put uh, my nephews in danger. I refuse to put them on screen or monetize them in any way. Uh, people, people who use children to get for for um, you know clout or for to make money are uh, the are uh, what what, is, what do you call them degenerates? No, what do you call them? Subhuman, yeah, yeah. So it's a bit hard to do. Like one 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 day when I have a place that I can do a proper setup with, which you know probably will never happen considering you know, reality. But uh, it would be nice if one day I could um, just set up cameras in my kitchen and just be able to switch to there, to the kitchen, to the workshop, like, and be able to do whatever type of stream that I want. All right, we are in here. Oh, yeah. But enough of that. Let's have a look at this. Heffles calls me out and destroys me. This is just so weird. What are we debating? Um, what do you <laughs> want to debate? Um, nothing. What's the latest drama? Latest drama? I don't fucking know. Something about Hunter Avalon being an idiot, but that's not... That's not oh new. Oh my gosh. I just... Random Xeno gender shit that's really trivial. Well, at least he's getting Xeno gender shit. What the fuck? Like, oh my gosh. I, I honestly have to say, if you have a problem with people using. Uh, I don't know what Xeno genders are, but like, if you haven't. If you have an actual beef with people using Xeno gender as a thing like you need to fucking touch some grass my dudes like what how fucking bullshit says me who's just basically here to enjoy the enjoy the drama of uh two streamers that don't really matter in the grand scheme of things xenogender who who cares what it means it means something to someone and that's that's what matters you know what i mean like it means something to someone um And, and, and... If it means, if it means something to someone, then, then, like, fucking... Let them, let, let people just fucking live their lives! My gosh! Also, uh... The game lied to me. <sighs> Beta leather... Seven minutes ago. Mournhold. Uh, wherever that is. Deshaun. Also, I don't have enough uh, coins for any of that. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> some attention he needs it he's he's lost like 200,000 subscribers in a year i mean like um uh, shame a shame reread that thingy that you just said hold on let me just read it out for you and just think about it for a second there is no possible way kids that young enjoy being on camera 24 7 i don't care how many toys are involved i'm gonna let you stew with that one For you. Anyway, <clears throat> nothing. It's just, yeah. it's just. Good mm. on him. Yeah, I think he started to realize that him becoming a liberal isn't going to make him money. He has yeah. to. Oh my gosh! I just realized. Oh fuck! 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 Uh, game full. Game full. Game full. Look! 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 On the right hand side of the screen, it's a guillotine. It's a guillotine. Yes. Elder Scrolls Online has a guillotine. I'm... Just saying. You know? 
That's right. That sounds like a cool name for a, for for like a metal song. Good luck, get it team. The tradition. You God, have you watched his old videos? They're extremely fucking. Good. I have. I have watched his old videos. Yeah. Oh my God. If 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 he was like in that phase right now, he would be like a. <clears throat> TikToker, mm. which is somehow even worse. So, at least he got it out of the way, like in the anti-SGW era. Mm. Is it? <laughs> it would. So anyway, how, what about the drama? I, I watched the what drama. What about the drama? You, I watched the drama of you and um, Keemstar, and everyone's angry at you. I know. No, it's fucking. St I hate it. I hate it so fucking much. It just people just hate me. I I've accepted this. Why I watched the drama, I mean, like, I, I listened to, like, the second mm -hmm. half of you talking to him, and he just kept saying really dumb shit, and you, you seem like trying to be nice to him when, I don't know, if it was me, I just would have called him an idiot the whole time, to be honest. Yeah, I know. I can't do that shit, though. It's probably That's for the best. That's not how that works. This just seems like a normal fucking, a normal fucking conversation. Like, if a woman does that, they just get called unhinged in his... Huh. Oh yeah. Can we stop use? Can we stop using the word hysterical? By the way, like that has such bad connotations. It's like using the arsla. But like, it encompasses all fucking women. Nah. Okay. Why do I deserve it? Now we're going. We're going. Because you slid into my friend's DMs while he was suicidal and told him to do it. I mean, that's like fucking insane. Yeah, I know. Who? And you like you just who? Yeah. It was that like moreover I should be destroyed guy from like this was. Whoa! Oh wait! So that that was really fucking that was really fucking quick. That just went straight into it. Hold on. To do Sorry. it. I mean that's Dude. like fucking insane. Hysterical. That... Nah. Okay. Why do I deserve it? Now we're going. No, I can't do that shit though. It's probably that's for the best. not how that works. Like if a woman does that, they just get called unhinged and hysterical. I get called that anyway. Maybe I'm a You get called know. that anyway, but honestly, no, no, you deserve hysterical. it. Nah, okay, why do I deserve it? Now we're going, we're going Because you slid into my friend's DMs while he was suicidal and told him to do it. I mean, that's who? like fucking insane. Yeah, I know. Who? And you, like, you just, who? Yeah. It was that, like, more- See, I can't tell if a bad empanada is fucking around right now. Like, um, he does this a lot. Like, he, he he won't admit to anything. He's so good at the whole disavow shit, which, like, I, I'm, again, I'm not throwing shade, like, 100%, like, behind uh, that kind of response, but, like, it's it's really hard to tell. Like, I can't tell. Over I should be destroyed guy from, like, this was a, this was years ago. That like, two years friend. ago. Yeah, he was. I haven't talked to him in a while. But that is that really, brain. like, your risk? That's your response I mean, to you're, you're you telling encourage me something that is blatantly just made up. So yeah, I that saw is the my DMs response. from back in the day. I don't think I've ever DM that. <clears throat> I think my only interaction with him has been laughing. at Kepel's made it up. You showed Deems where said she made it up. Wasn't real. It's not the first time someone's brought it up. With um, th this is the thing. Like it is not the first time that it's been brought up. It's not. Like and it wasn't Kepel's that uh, brought it up in the first place. Like. Uh, uh, let me see if I can find something. Um, wait, I probably won't be able to find. <laughs> Help is available. <laughs> okay. Uh, my gosh, fucking love it. Actually, you know what? Based Google moment. Base Google moment. You gotta show this. I gotta show you this. Bad empanada tells someone to kill themselves. Um, help is available. Lifeline Australia. Uh, how do I respond? Suicide. Like, this is awesome. Actually, the, the, no, no, no. Like, I, I, I'm not really. I'm not laughing at this. I just think that the fact that they that Google has um, completely, um, completely, yeah. Th this is this is just. Yeah, that's based as fuck. <sighs> uh. 
I just I just know that I yeah Vosh yeah Vosh uh, subreddit yeah it was probably in the Vosh subreddit um that I've seen people talking about that like Kevils was not the first person to bring it up is what I'm saying like with it but like see that that's what we're gonna get into as well I like Kevils has a has a kind of personality um that I don't understand. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Him, it's very interesting. Because um, he, he posted... Like, and that's not bad or good. That's just where he how... There was like a socialist revolution in Argentina in like the year 2000 or something. So I just like quote tweeted that a couple of times to laugh at it. Oh God, I don't even fucking know the politics that went on with that. I just like remember that one circumstance. So it, that's a fake chat log. Like that didn't happen or am I being I gaslit? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh fuck. Fuck off with using gaslit as a term please please can we not um yes i need that thank you ah wonderful um yeah like stop using gaslit as a term for people disagreeing with you um fucking hell but that is how i have interacted with that guy um i get i get a new account i quote tweet that in spanish saying hey guys you remember when this happened to like my 10 spanish spanish speaking followers and um usually um they see it and then block me <laughs> that's about all i remember about that <sighs> but like Here's why I don't know why whether like bad empanada, uh, bad empanada is fucking around or not because like he is so good at fucking dry humor. Uh, he's drier than me and he's more sarcastic than me and he hides it completely. It's it's incredible. I'm I'm okay. I'm sorry. Like if I misremembered the situation. I mean, I don't remember any any of this situation, so it's okay. See, like, that, 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 I don't know if he's telling the truth there. I can't tell. I'm not saying he's not, and I would assume that he is, um, but, like, this is my experience with watching, consuming Bad Empanada's content. I, like, watch all of his videos, and, and I, like, I just, it's just, the, the drama that surrounds this man is just incredible to me. You don't remember any I of the situations. Multiple people impersonating me on Twitter too, so keep that in mind. Okay, no, that's I, fair. I honestly don't care when people like comment. Is this you? Okay, so here, here's here here is him here is him um uh, fucking around. I do know that he's fucking around right now. You know, I I don't actually say no. I mean, I have people who do that shit to me too, so I get it. There's one who's like a has fan, and um, he's kind of keeping you know just just keeping it going so that it seems like i have an account on twitter i don't but i mean yeah this is fucking know, around if, if you want to spend uh, let me tell you right now bad empanada is definitely not on twitter i disavow why does that come up his volume is too low and hers is like, too loud i don't know uh, a couple of hours of your life every single day in person i don't know how to um normalize the sound audio I don't. I don't have a normalizer, a normalized audio filter, um, like that I can use loud live. I've got DaVinci Pro, um, but I would have to download the video and actually edit it. Being a, a minor YouTuber on Twitter, that's that's up to that guy, you know. We just have to deal. It. We'll it's just his, have to deal with her loud audio then. <clears throat> It's not yeah, so bad I... when you. You've seen the has fan bad and banana account. Oh, okay. Then I guess he. I guess he. No, I guess there he is telling the truth. Like I'm not. Again, I don't want to fucking call him out as a fucking liar because I don't think he. I, that's not what I see from the guy. It's more like. He's got a Twitter account. Like obviously. Um, and obviously I was lying just then. I was just joking. But, yeah, like, he's very good at this. He's very good at this. Yeah, I, I guess I don't remember the situation as much as I did. I mean, I, I don't remember it at all. But, I mean, 
yeah, I haven't had a Twitter account, I think, like six months now. Um, it's honestly a really? massive waste you... of time. I think I, I got I got like banned the last time a couple of months before the Elon Musk takeover, and then I saw that and I was like, it would be funny if I like applied to get unbanned now just so that I could tweet out. Ah, fair enough. After getting unbanned, like <clears throat> anyone still using this website is a fucking idiot, but I didn't end up getting unbanned. So it's mm. whatever. Mm. Maybe one day you. Maybe I'm just being taken out, take, taken along for a ride. Maybe it was six months ago. Gee, geez, like the passage of time is fucking amazing. Why do they call it the Fox Commune? Why is that so close to Fox? But yeah, I'm just I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, I might be just I might be wrong here, but mm, okay. Well, why did you get banned? Maybe that's the um, has thing. Maybe that's the has account. You know, it's happened so many times it's difficult to tell. They're like half of them. It's just like people like go through your tweets and repeat and report literally every single one of them. Because, you know, the moderation teams of, like, massive social media enterprises are usually, like, outsourced to, like, the Philippines or something and just random overworked people. You know, they're not yeah. exactly reading between the lines on stuff. And just hoping that, like, the moderator takes exception to it. Because, you know, there's no, there's no, like, rate limit on reporting or anything. So a lot of the time it's, like, they do that and eventually, like you know, one of those moderators gets something that lands on their desk, like me, like calling like a fascist, a piece of shit or something. And then bam, they get you. All right. So it was, um, uh, it was July 13th, 2021. The account was Vlad and Pen Oh, I made em I made an empanada last night, actually, or yesterday. Okay, July thirteenth, twenty twenty-one. Maybe Count, count was nada, mm -hmm. and you went into his DMs and you said, "Just do it already, man. No one will miss." Like his Twitter is unhinged. I will. You, you need. You need to understand this. <sighs> 
six results. It just doesn't seem to be much here. There's no DM logs that I can find. Yeah. So... See you when you sent a heart. Yeah, more than likely, if that was me, it was some um, massive fascist piece of shit supporting massive fascist piece of shit. Okay, so what do you mean? So you knew it was you and you're just lying. Um, before you're like, I don't remember doing this. And now I've you're like, if it was me. Before. I'm very sorry. But if I You did never it, had a Twitter if I did Oh my it. god. Are you really this fucking stupid, dude? Like you're <laughs> that's not, not stu That's not stupid. Like he, he, that, that, that's his bit. That's his bit, Kefels. You've known him for long enough. That's his I'm just fucking gonna bit. Just going to own up Come to on. being a piece of shit. You need to like irony post your way around I mean, it. You have done significantly worse than me in this respect. Like, I've done significantly worse. What have I've I done that's significantly? You. What have I done that's significantly well, worse than telling like, someone who's like suicidal to kill themselves? I don't like. And for one. You, you try to twist it into, like, telling someone that's suicidal to kill themselves, right? Do you think that, that like, you have a duty before you speak to any random account, like, tweeting fascist shit oh. on you on social media to investigate, like, their personal history and everything to make sure that you aren't saying anything untowards towards them, untowards towards them personally? Surely you, as someone who gets <clears throat> harassed by, like, a million fascists every single day, must know that you're not going to, you know, click on everyone's profile, check their pronouns, check their, you know, whatever, whatever else is there that could be in... I mean, I do, but like, that's not what most people do. No, no, dude, this is just you weaseling out of it because you don't want to own up to being a piece of shit. I have no idea. It is weaseling out of it. I have no idea. You know who that is. You already know. You're just like, oh, I don't know. Okay, who are they then? How should I know who are they? At the start of the conversation, you admitted it. You're just trolling me. What's the account name? Like, who are they? What? What's that like? They handle. You already told me that you knew. At the start um, of this fucking conversation. Like, so do wait, you have it, it, no it's, it's fucking the, spine? Oh, so you're saying it's that, um, it's the guy who, who does this cringe thing at the end of his tweets all the time, or is it someone else? So, you know, can you stop? Can you be a fucking no, adult genuine, for one I second? I thought you were talking about someone else. You must be drunk. Or yeah, it dumb. was the Immy Kress thing. The Immy Kress Twitter. No, I, don't. I have never. Don't fucking do I that to me. I have never, factually never DM that guy. You don't need to DM that guy because they're, um... That actual, like, you know, public tweets are bad enough. It's just someone who tries to, like, weaponize, um, you know, the sort of vague progressiveness in the U.S. to support U.S. imperialist policies the world over. Did you say, so you didn't send it? You didn't? Um, I might have sent it to them, but I don't Can remember Can you say if it. you have or didn't? Like, yeah, okay, what so is this I might? I don't know. I don't remember it. But if I did, they deserved it. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What do you mean what's wrong with me? Kefels, one of your best yeah? friends is a very well-known sexual predator. Should Dude, you told that? someone who has if I tell a you history. That, you're gonna get you told someone who had a history of, of mental. Groups. You told someone who had a history of mental illness to someone kill themselves. Okay. Of mental illness. No, okay, fuck for you. One. I really want to know who this person is and see the re see the fucking receipts. Just, just, just so I can like fucking not not because I care, but just just so like I can just fucking know and be like, yeah, no, this is bullshit. Or actually, yes. Explain to me how so anyone what? is supposed to know you that You said some that they guy... deserved it, okay? <laughs> you already right admitted how... that you're a fucking cunt. So, like, oh, holy, I admitted like, that you're a fucking cunt. Where, where do you think you have any sort of moral high ground over me after that? Because you've, this is something that, you've you actually did. told don't people to kill themselves don't be, before. I've seen it. Okay, don't be fucking misogynistic and try and... I mean, like, he, he's literally said said that, like, if, if that was something he said, it would have been again... He would have said that to someone who's, like, a fucking fascist. Which, if obviously, I definitely disavow, disavow uh, telling people to follow their leader. But um, def disavow, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, you know, be 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 nice and friendly. Like we will conquer the. We will no. Yes, we will conquer the world with kindness. Um, that 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 is how you know the the world will be changed through being nice and never telling people to uh, to Minecraft themselves. No, absolutely. I disavow. I disavow a shame. Definitely lick the boot. Deflect and be like, oh, what about this what? guy? I'm my own person. I make my own decisions. I'm not saying okay? about this guy. I'm saying about you. 
And yeah, I what think about anyone me? who is associated what with a well-known me? sexual predator. You think okay, no, no, be don't held deflect. To for that. Okay, you fucking okay. piece of shit. You're telling You've people to kill told, themselves. You've literally told people to kill themselves. I've seen. It. See, see, my problem with Keffels is that she's got the de debate bro mind. She's got the debate bro bro mind, and like this isn't like a. Uh, you got to understand, this isn't a. Uh, it's not a active thing that they do. This is something that is a learned behavior from spending too much time with debate bros. You start to drop into patterns of speech. Um, you like you try. It's it's the whole putting some putting things into a into a. Um, it, it, Putting things into a vacuum, um, the gaslighting argument, you know, like, you can name each of these arguments um, as, as an observer of uh, debate bro culture, as a connoisseur. Um, like, I can just tell, like, when, when someone's like, oh, you're deflecting, and you're just, like, moving away, and, like, meanwhile, like, completely deflecting from everything else in the whole thing. Like, it's just this weird behavior that debate bros have that they're not aware of when they're actually talking to another human being. Multiple, I've seen multiple chat logs and yes. good on you for it because I'm sure they were massive pieces All of right, shit no, you were being You've never seen you. this Because if she wasn't friends with uh, Vorsch, then um, she'd go the same way as um, every other... Have you, have you noticed what happens to transgender creators that aren't friends with Vorsch? Have you noticed how how successful they they become? It's a business decision. Like she might not like see it as that. She might genu genuinely be friends with them, but like, it's good business. Shit. Um. What shit? Yeah, I have. You've never seen this shit, dude. You just I like have. you're a fucking snake. You will be insincere until the evidence is brought up, and then mm -hmm. you'll be like, "Well, maybe." Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's I genuinely don't remember this, but you're telling me, right? This guy who's like, you know, a faceless persona on the internet who posts okay, so if, about if, politics, if... and you're telling me that I I sent that to them because I knew they were suicidal. You is said you maybe thesis? did it. I mean, you no, said you I didn't said, at the start, I and then when I actually the brought DM. it up, you said I might have I maybe. Sent the DM, but you're trying to link this to them supposedly being suicidal, right? Now, did I know that? Is there like evidence no. that I knew any reason for me to have known that beforehand, or what? Because like, that's... like the fact that he's being so like um, so charitable, even to like say, hey, I might have done it, like is is something in and of itself. You know what I mean? So, so everything. it's like. <sighs> So, so it's okay to do that. Are you fucking kidding me? An honorary trans woman, the Vorsch is called trans people subhuman for not agreeing with them. Like, yeah, like, basically, anyone who doesn't disagrees with any trans person, any minority that disagrees with Vorsch, um, is, is, is ostracized. Completely ostracized. And obviously, like, some people have, um, have their own problems. Like, I do know that, uh, like, while I support I, I guess in in the in the flowers versus Vosh, I bring up a lot, and I do support um, flowers side side of things. Um, flowers um, has made some pretty shitty mistakes and decisions when it comes to listening to her um, to uh, you know um, Nat Native American uh, First Nation voices in America, like. It's just, it's just weird to me. Like, there's always something deeper, but basically, yeah, fuck, fuck Borsch. Fuck Borsch. It's okay to suicide bait people. I absolutely 100% um, you know, think that you should tell people who are advocating like, for fashion. I disavow. I definitely don't think that it's okay to, um, to uh, drop into people's DMs when you know that they're fascist scum and tell them to, to you know, Roblox themselves. I definitely disavow that action to do awful things to themselves yes <clears throat> all right Shane. he's a fucking like 20 something year old suburban twitter user dude I don't know you are he is person. all i know is that he tweets in support of u.s foreign policy worldwide now how can you do that without being a fascist it's basically impossible so yeah and absolutely. how do you think 
How do you think I wish, Slide? I wish I knew who they were talking about. Is all I have to say about this. So, like, I can't, I can't tell who they're talking about. Getting into people's DMs and telling them to kill themselves is going to advance your political agenda. Like, you can think, you just do, admit? Do you do you have a YouTube channel because you think it's to advance your political agenda? Do you post tweets to advance your political agenda? No one is here to advance a political agenda. All this is theater. You know that better than anyone. Come on, give me a break. This is this is an amazing moment, by the way. It's okay, well, look. Yeah, just, I, I don't. I don't think her, I am. Her, the, her, her senses. Her sen Like he like her sense of like existential, um, like dread. Just like fucking, uh, just just. Yeah, I listen, thought you did, amazing. but you're fucking insane. That's I obvious. I make videos on the internet. I'm fucking. You make insane. videos on the internet. I know. You the boss shouldn't have interacted with him at all because she got he got with anyone by batting and she'd have made some mistakes with it because of she was called Black Hill. Oh, yeah. The, the, my my issue with that is is I, I didn't actually disagree with anything she said. Um on on my own personal level. Like I've had conversations with people um since then who've criticized me for the way I've spoken about um land back. Um and I and uh yeah, I'm definitely gonna change my language around that because um it's not okay for um someone who is not first nation to get up on a platform and uh talk about land back in the same in the same breath as talking about um um violent um anti-colonialism because the two things are, are not the same like land back is is essentially a peaceful movement completely and utterly like there is no that th like there should be no conversation with someone who tries to uh, pull you into, like Vorsch does, um, to the whole white genocide bullshit. Because um, it should just, yeah, it, it's it's it, it angers and upsets people who are in that movement. So don't do it. Um, I have my personal views on. Uh, sorry, I laughed because my video game character made a fucking weird ass face um i have my own views when it comes to that those sort of issues um but definitely when talking about land back you should always be talking about what they're actually doing rather than uh, what could happen because uh, the two things are completely different and uh, white fears of uh, genocide are completely un unsubstantiated and shouldn't be uh, addressed you cope? Kill no, no, no. You, you, you try and have this moral high ground where you're better than other people, and that your politics is about advancing something. Okay, because it's, if it's about, about theater, don't. If it's about theater, don't bring up U.S. foreign policy anymore. Okay. If it's about because if it was about theater, if it was about theater, you wouldn't be <clears> like, oh, I told this person to kill themselves because I disagree with their. <clears throat> You can you can be you can teach you can be a teacher and uh, teach kids about science so that they can grow up and be better human beings, right? But it can also be a fucking job, right? That's that's political what take. No, you just wanted to tell someone you didn't like take. to kill themselves. Is it just disagreeing with that political take when someone like, is against trans rights? Is that just disagreeing with that political take? Because you 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 know fully well that's a fucking incredibly dumb way to frame. You know, advocating for policy. See, I, I like Bad Empanada because he's like one of the very few, um, uh, like larger content creators, um, who fucking are open about that shit. And that, that it is theater and that it is a job and that it is like not praxis. Like, I have mad respect for Bad Empanada about that and I agree with him 100%. Politics that hurt human beings. And whether it's theater or not, right? I don't think it's okay to like be a Nazi or support US imperialism or be against trans rights or whatever, just because perhaps we're not in an incredibly serious space that has a real effect on politics in the real world. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not telling people to kill, kill themselves. I've seen you tell people to kill themselves before. No, you It's just a matter of the fact that you, you know, I think you perhaps think you told people to kill themselves in a situation yeah. that merited it, but perhaps you do not take, like... But, like, if you were going to make vids about something, you'd do make videos about something you care about. Like, the, be, it being theatre doesn't take anything away from the actual merit of what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, 
I don't think it. I don't think what I'm doing has much merit because I don't have the time to actually put the kind of effort that I wish I could um, into like what I do. And I wish I had the opportunities and you know the the mind and brain to do things like to create create videos like Bad Empanada Bad Empanada does on his main channel. I would. I I wish I wish I could do that. Um, and I don't. Wouldn't know. I I don't even know how to start. Uh, which is why I did started streaming because I. I, I didn't want to sit around doing fuck all. <laughs> and she puts a lot of production to visit if it's about what she truly care, cares about. Exactly. Exactly. And the same is there, is there for Bad Empanada. Um, but at the same time, like, you know, Kevils probably puts, you know, um, the what, what she cares about into her vids. But, like, when you compare her main channel, YouTube channel... Um, to Bad Empanada's main YouTube channel, there is more substance to what Bad Empanada does than her. And I'm saying, and that doesn't take anything away from what she cares about. Um, it's just what's there. It's what I see. American global genocide. Serious enough to think that in that case it was. You know, no, no, you already admitted you don't actually care. Like at this point, you're just doing theater. This is a bit to you. Um, I'm tell. I'm no, not it's a bit to, to you. You just, you just sincerely. said, you just said you're just that your chat, your channel, you're retreating to this shit, you just said, to this shit to avoid dude, dude, with what I'm dude, can you please shut the fuck up for a second? You just Shippos. said Should that Nazis your channel is about theater. Yes. So channel, I don't care what you say about, about Nazism. I don't care what you say about, about foreign channel? policy. Okay. My okay. channel is significantly more serious than yours. So what is your no, channel No, your channel is about theater. You've already said this. You don't actually this believe entire in thing anything. Is about theater. It's Come not on. about advancing you politics. It's about theater. Did you bring so Kim you just told your someone to kill themselves, to... not because you were trying to advance anything. There was no there was no political point to it. You just wanted to is be there, cruel. Is there any real political point to telling some random Nazi to follow their leader? Is some random Twitter, anonymous Twitter account that you know nothing about to follow that leader, to have like a random Twitter argument with some random idiot. Obviously that doesn't affect anything, it doesn't matter. So like you can say, my channel is here, dude, my channel is a million times more serious than yours than any of these streamers. My channel actually- Okay, you know, I, I get it, dude, history, you already said like, politics, you already said this is systems, theater, you said this is down. theater, so, you nothing know, you're is saying theater, is serious. What yours is. <laughs> Nothing so, you are saying is serious. You admitted this look, already, so I don't have you're to take anything careful. you're saying seriously. Calm down for a second here. What you're trying to do is just what do you deflect, mean calm down? Deflect from the substance of what I'm saying. I, th th these are the sort of things that that do bother me about Bad Empanada. He does have he is he does have misogyny there. Like it's not it's nowhere near or as bad as like Vorta or anyone else, but like you can see it there, and it's like every time every time it sort of like pops up, it's just like. To like a little bit of a the substance moment. of what you're saying. Earlier. Yeah. You've been gaslighting me this entire conversation, well, and you, you just, just admitted that you don't really words. believe in anything. Uh, I, I really want these debate bros to explain what they mean by gaslighting, uh, their understanding of what it fucking means, because um, he didn't call you crazy once. Oh, wait. No, he did say that he did say that she was drunk. Oh, yeah, I know. No, gaslighting it was. Um, so do I, do you think I don't believe in anything? That's what you said, yes. No, no, I want you to tell me, like, bef like th before I said that, did you think I didn't believe in anything? Did I think, did yeah. I think you didn't believe in anything yeah, before? Yeah, before, before I, I thought said that this you had... Yeah, I know, but like, I, 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 but him bringing it up in conversation to try and, um, to try and, uh, dis, d, to, uh, delegit, it, to bring up, uh, someone being drunk to delegitimize their, uh, points is, is a form of gaslighting. So, yeah, I guess you can say that, but I honestly don't think that she uh, understands, like, I don't think that's what she meant when she said gaslighting. I think she just meant that he was disagreeing with her, because that's what debate bros use it for. Yeah, like this, it's just, uh, gaslighting is a very specific thing, which um happen, which 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 is has a specific definition. It, it has to do with using someone's mental state to uh, try and uh, uh, what's the word. To yeah, to basically to delegitimize de their um, point of view without having to actually engage with like the arguments in it. So like an example of that would have been um, uh, my ex calling me um, the arsler um, 
when when I'm trying to talk to them about um, how uh, you know their actions have uh, negatively affected my emotions and sort of like delegitimizing my point of view because you know I'm not a I don't have a brain that works so therefore my point of view doesn't doesn't matter and trying to basically make me be and the point of that is like them to impose that upon me to become a heart belief within my, myself like it's a psychological concept which is not which is not um this person is trying to convince me of something different than what I believe in. That's that's not what it is. It is delegitimizing someone um, through um, through pointing out their uh, mental state um, to try and convince for someone to change their views. That you were twisting into something that isn't what I said at all. Did you think I didn't believe in anything? Yeah, but you need to understand that like there is no way to actually change. You can't brainwash someone. Brainwashing brainwashing isn't something that exists. Like yeah, it's abusive. Abusive. It's an attempt. To brainwash someone, I guess. But no one actually changes their mind unless they choose to. There's no such thing as brainwashing. Brainwashing is, is science fiction. 100%. If, if it wasn't science fiction, if brainwashing wasn't science fiction, then conversion therapy would work. I thought that you had, um, like, I thought you had political principles, yeah. I didn't agree with how you went about them, but, but I guess I was wrong. I agree with my political principles in large respect. I know that. <clears throat> Back. Now, do you think it's possible for me to acknowledge that, you know, this space that we engage mm. in, this... Yeah, but I mean, like, do you do, don't feel guilty about it now. You can't do, okay, come, what is that guilt doing to change the things that you did? Fuck all. All you can do is better, do better in the future. Um, don't, don't, don't... If you continually, like, drag yourself down by what you've done in the past, I mean, there's some, some things that should always uh, weigh on your mind and, you know... Uh, drag you down to follow your leader, although I completely d disavow that, but like, you know, um, advocating for child pornography would be one. Like, there's some things that you shouldn't be able to walk away from, but like, you know, not understanding how to interact with people in a, um emotionally intelligent way uh, when you're younger shouldn't, like, be... that shouldn't, like, negatively impact the rest of your fucking life. But, you know, as long as you're not continuing to negatively affect other people's mental health such as you know andrew callahan continuing to be a reporter after you know abusing several women um he should never show his face in public again just so that those abused uh, those abused women should never have to um be faced with their abuser ever again um yeah but remember that some people don't want don't want you don't want to be have these issues rectified. They just don't want to see you again. And you should you should just not make yourself uh, appear again. Um, and in the case of someone like Andrew Callahan, that's pretty easy. All you need to do is um, never use your name. Don't use your name. Use your company name and use someone else to do uh, to, to to be the face of your company. Like that. That's how it could move forward. Yeah, no, that's right. Idiotic like niche internet. YouTube drama space, blah, blah, whatever you want to call it, with like this vague political theme. Is there like <laughs> some sort of conflict between me having serious political principles while also engaging in this space? Because I don't think there particularly is, right? Like just because. Right, I think we there's a problem drama, with suicide baiting people. That we don't believe in a certain. Like know, you can call someone a piece of shit, you can, you can mock people, but the, why would you do that? I mean, I agree with you. You generally shouldn't do that. But when someone is advocating for incredibly fucking awful, like, politics that hurt human beings, I don't think it's a, an, an incredibly bad thing. Hence, you know, and... I definitely disagree and, and disavow. And others agree with me a lot on this. Hence the famous follow your leader image with Hitler shooting himself in the head. I do not understand how what he is doing is comparable to Nazism. Well... Let me and this is why I wish that I knew who the fuck they were talking about. Explain it to you. In the world today, there is this country called the United States of America. It controls the global financial system pretty much completely. Every single country has to engage with it on its terms as much okay, as possible. Okay, okay, I, I understand. When they Dude, don't, I, I absolutely fucking understand. To them. So in my I opinion, already understand like this 101 America shit. Someone who advocates, someone who advocates for said, you know, the dominance of this power and against those who are trying to fight it, and imperfect as they might be, is very much doing massive harm to human beings. So obviously, they're not <clears> personally, <throat> you know what I mean. But they're advocating. For, they're contributing you know, to a to, to, 
to or it. Yeah. Things that they, actually hurt They beings. are not advocating for ethnic cleansing. They're not advocating for like racial superiority. Is that the That's only the thing. things that it, is that the only part where it's severe enough? They have to like like it can't just be for like material gain. In in it your example, be... yes. I think so I think um, right? the advocation like, of ethnic like, cleansing is murder, one of the key so, things of Nazism. So if you murder a million Iraq yeah, like, I think that she threw herself into that, because she, I honestly think that, uh, he pro he fucking touched a nerve pretty early on, and that's why she brought that up, um, while he was, um, on his kind of side of things was joking around, but, like, I guess she didn't find that to be very humorous, it would have been probably a better, a better thing to do to actually point that out, that I don't find that very funny, um, and someone like Bad Empanada, like, I guess, I guess I give him 50-50 actually taking that seriously and actually, you know, like, you know, just moving forward from that. Um, I can't remember what it was. Hold on. We're, we're at uh, 1657 right now. Hold on. Let me just find the spot. Yeah, Keemstar and Angle. I know, no, it's fucking... I hate it. I hate it so fucking much. I just... People just hate me. I, I've accepted this. Why I watched the drama, I mean, like, I, I listened to, like, the second mm -hmm. half of you talking to him, and he just kept saying really dumb shit, and you... You seem like trying to be nice to him when, I don't know, if it was me, I just would have called him an idiot the whole time, to be honest. Yeah, I know. I can't do that shit, though. It's probably That's not, the best. not how that... And, and yeah, like, so, like, he doesn't take this very seriously, like, but this is actually a pretty serious issue for, um, for women and, uh, m women, minorities, trans people, like, take your pick, um, when we are not... Uh, compliant to um, the cis cishet whites, um, we get we lose our platforms. We lose our, we we lose people. We lose our livelihoods. We we get as she said, call, get called um, hysterical. And like from the sounds of the way that she's talking about it, this is something that's weighing heavily on her mind. If I had to gamble on this, this is the result of her being pissed off because that empanada took something a very serious issue that uh, she cared a lot about um like like a, like it was a joke and so i can understand that i just think that that it would have been better to address that issue and have a half hour conversation about that issue that would have been a little bit more productive but what do i know i'm not a debate bro things of nazism so if you murder a million iraqis so like the, the so so like if we, we got to be tra charitable at least to a certain certain degree. Like this whole thing was completely unprepared. Like uh, I don't know if any one of you have ever been have ne have ever been dropped into a debate completely unprepared, with like nothing. Um, that's uh, you know sometimes how I fucking roll, but that's because I can just bullshit about anything. Um, th this is like. There's always underlying reasons behind things, you know? Like, thinking of Keffel's um, actions here as, oh, you know, she's just dumb, oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about, um, all of that sort of stuff. Like, think about why this argument is even happening, and then we can actually make lemon. We, we can make lemonade, you know? Fucking, you know? Just make lemonade. Realize, realize that uh, the the underlying issues, and try and uh, make something better out of it. And I think a better conversation would be to have around this would be the way that um, Kefels is basically in a position where she is forced to comply, like in the same way that we are trapped in a capitalist system. Like her her position as a uh, large content creator depends on her complying to um, cishet white males. Um, who are larger and uh, more important than her, unfortunately. Because so should you know, and e and even even, and it must be so frustrating that to even have like someone who's uh, you know probably around the same amount of viewers. I'm I'm not sure how how like popularity contest they are, but to me they're pretty much like fame wise on the same level to me. I know I, I hear Keffels as much as I do about um, Bad Empanada and the whole, you know, drama circus bullshit that uh, goes on on Twitter and uh, online spaces. So it must be pretty fucking, like, depressing and insulting to um, be put into a position where she can't even 
have a conversation about that with uh, someone on her own level. You know? That must be pretty fucking disappointing. Yeah. Who did if, a 20 year me? old anarchist murder a million Iraqis? I mean, how did a 20 year old Nazi. But yeah, like, this is really funny and hilarious. And, and murder just. Murder 6 yeah. million Jews. They didn't. That's that not an bad. answer to the question. It's just a Nazism deflection. Today. No, it's the. It's a, it's He's a not comparison. advocating Nazism. So, is it okay? Is it okay to, like, have a firm line where, you know, your beliefs are just fucking terrible beyond that point? Is that okay? I, I'm sorry, but supporting the the um, the Western American uh, he hegemony is basically supporting Nazism, uh, just on a larger scheme and a more liberal, um, less bloodthirsty way. Like, or uh, same amount of blood th bloodthirst, probably worse for uh, the world, really, America, U.S. Uh, specifically. Um, but yeah. If you support uh, the U.S.'s uh, hege hegemonic control over the rest of the world, you are supporting uh, fascism. Like, that's basically what Nazism is. Like, the colonialization of other countries and the control of other countries under the banner of uh, the U.S. So, hey, Or does it have to be literal Nazism to be past that point? Like, like for example, Israel... Isn't as like, bad. Bad, like it, it, bad Aminata is a bad person to debate on this issue because he literally made a like two-hour video explaining how um, uh, the Nazism was inspired by um, the USA. Like German Nazis were inspired by what America has done and is still doing. So, it, yeah, bad, bad, bad argument to make against someone who knows their shit about this. As the Nazis. Does that mean that I can't be against, like, massive fucking shithead Zionists just because they're not quite as bad as the Nazis were? Like, what is the logic here? What, what do you mean? Are you literally doing the... Are you turning into when is the line when it's acceptable to tell someone to kill themselves? Absolutely, yes. Because I absolutely... The line is definitely not against fascist people. You should never tell anyone to kill themselves. I just vow. 100%. Believe that Nazis should follow their leader. Is there a problem about... with that? Don't you believe that too? Yeah, but we're, we weren't talking about a Nazi. You're okay. conflating so two like, different how, things right now. Like, how many millions of people do your beliefs need to kill before it becomes acceptable to just say shitty things to you? How many? What's the line? I'm you, tell me. you tell me, because you're the one who engages in this behavior. Obviously, there well, is no US line for you. Certainly, obviously, there is a line for me. Do you think I just go but around? But every like, single, every single person passively who lives in the U.S. Empire benefits from U.S. imperialism. That's so then, the same um, thing at as that rate, you're advocating for it. It's not about benefiting from it. It's literally advocating for it. There is a clear line there. I think most people in the U.S. have no fucking idea about the shit that, it, that the U.S. does, and a lot of them probably don't have the time to care. And I'm not talking about someone like that. I'm talking about someone who tweets like 50 times a day about pre precisely this. Right, so it's like, it's okay to tell someone who obviously has absolutely no say in the system, who isn't in person advocating someone anything. It's just like some niche, like it. fucking... So... Like, so I like, can understand saying be... these things if it's someone who is literally... A literal fucking Nazi, someone who in any political ideology is advocating for ethnic cleansing, well, but saying it to like some 20-year-old so, anarchist so because you think country, they're cringe. In my country, US, Australia? USA, um, do you believe that immigrants can never be from the country? That yeah, so this was, a, this was a really bad, th this, this was a big mistake on Keppel's part. Yeah, that, no. Yeah, Keppel shouldn't have fucking stepped on that. <sighs> Especially to an, to someone who was born in Australia, where multiculturalism is so fucked up. Like, mm. it's a very white thing to say, to say that someone who's immigrated to a country is not, like, a citizen, like, they can't call it their country. 
I, I I'm just thinking about like ima- I'm just imagining to myself going up to someone um someone uh, of, of Asian ethnicity and saying that you're not uh, you're you're not uh, you can't call my the Australia your country you can't call yourself Australian it's just like I mean they're both being cringe they live in that they've lived in for like five years that they're citizens of. Wait, so I'm supposed to think of you it, like as an Argentinian national because you moved Argentine there five yes. years ago? Yes. Yes, because he's a citizen. Is, is someone who moves to the US, lives there for five, five years, gets citizenship, not an American? That wasn't really the question, was it? Well, it's my country, so I'm going to say that it's my country because it factually is. I'm a citizen of this country, so I'll say it as much as I want. So in my yeah. country, right, That was the US empire yeah. supported a campaign to physically eliminate yeah. all leftists. Uh, right? So I think if you support the US empire... It's time to cancel Kevin's. <laughs> that's the sort of thing that you support. And, um, <sighs> you know, that's well above the bar to be considered a, a subhuman piece of shit, in my opinion. I just fucking love, I fucking love it when he just outright says the shit and people are just like, people who were used to like using, um, uh, code words and code switching and all of that, people used to that, they just, just don't know how to respond to someone just saying what they mean out loud. I love it. And in what way does this 20 year old Twitter anarchist support the US empire? Well, they love to post tweets. Right? They loved it's probably my my favorite account ever, that guy. They love to post tweets all about <clears throat> and by the way, do you even have evidence of this? I haven't seen it. If you could link it to me. It, you want guy, the evidence? Yeah. But like understand, like, that's his brand and he knows it. And he's honest about like that he that the honesty there is part of his brand and he's explained that like several times, like He's very, very self-aware, and uh, part of his brand is that, and that's why he's so he comes across across as so unhinged. Um, it's just how it ends up coming across. It's 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 just I can't explain like, did, it. Like, because I've never DM that that account. Why do Why do people hate? like uh like anarchists so much like all of these crusty anarchists that i hear people talk about i've never actually seen them maybe i'm not right like in the right areas for that i i just yeah it just doesn't doesn't seem like a like a true reality like and being an anarchist is pretty fucking rare as it is i guess but like it just seems rarer still to find an anarchist who actually is one of these crusty anarchist dudes. But either way, that account is like the epitome. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. Someone it's just, who tries to. I would like to see receipts from a supposed left position. You know, like like um. Like it's not the same as um you know color blind blindness because we we have so much fucking um data and study and shit into that that like color blindness we can shoot we can we can see that that's a bullshit. But like. I don't think that these anarchists really exist in a in a huge way. I think that most of the anarchists... I think... Do you know what I reckon? I think most anarchists aren't even on Twitter. They're just, like, actually doing protests and doing stuff, like, like more important than me. Saying that pretty much every single target of US imperialism is bad and essentially deserves it. So, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm happy to hate someone like that. Okay, I mean, like, you can hate them for sure. I don't care if you like them or not. I, we don't even, we're not even really friends or talk to each other. Okay. Um, I just think it's detestable to engage in that kind of behavior. I mean, I agree in general. I'm sorry to this person if I did that to them. I mean, I probably did. Wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, I'll just say <laughs> I'm sorry to that person. However, that's still a piece of shit aside from that. Oh, yeah, no, I think people can, I think there is a line r- for real. Like, you can think someone's a piece this. of shit without actually, um, without going that far. That's fucked up. Like, what if they did do it? Yeah, like, it seems to me like a lot of people who call themselves anarchists are, and are under that bubble don't actually, haven't actually read any book about anarchism. I mean, I haven't read many books about uh, any of the things that I'm into. Like, I've... I need to do more, uh, like, actual uh, book study.
but um, I'm much more interested in just talking about shit rather than reading about it. I don't know. I don't know. What about if the people who you've said that sort of thing to did it, you know? Sometimes... Who did I say that to? I've literally seen screenshots of you saying shit like that to people. I mean, I'm not going to bother going to try and find them because how the fuck would I even do that? Like, just... Like I do need to read the Twitter bread book. For a couple of hours. I just find I, I find I find meaty books about that like that very hard to read, very difficult to read. Enough, because if you're saying that sort of shit to the people who harass you mercilessly, like the fucking Nazis and shit, good on you. Great. I don't care. Okay, I you're right. Okay, I'll concede. I do remember. I did say this to one person, and it was flamenco, and I stand by that. Okay. He's like he's no a problem. co-host of the kill stream. He's actually a neo-Nazi. I mean, I'm not familiar with them, but I'll take your word for it. No issue. Yes, yes, it is. Ah. I mean, don't worry, it's not paused. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's a, <laughs> that guy's a huge piece of shit. That'd be what interesting. Is kill stream. The kill stream. It was like hosted by Ethan Ralph, and it, it's I don't know much about it other than it's an alt right stream like that's been Kiwi going for years now. Thing. The what? Like a Kiwi Farms adjacent thing. Yeah, basically. Oh, Kiwi Farms fucking hates Ethan Ralph. I don't know why. Are they still around? Or did you actually uh, like, destroy them? Conquest, conquest of bread while cooking bread. No, site's like, still up and down. They get new providers. They get new hosts. They start running again. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, um, before that entire argument... It's, probably, was... it's actually probably been done before, but it'd be cool to have, like, uh, the Anarchist cookbook stream. Do, doing a cooking stream while uh, learning about anarchism. Went through that, like... I think you, you guys taking down Kiwi Farms is a good example of, like, what, like, you know, internet sort of politics stuff can actually do, which is basically do stuff on the internet, you know, because that's the space that... It engages in though it kind of falls over when it comes to doing anything in you know outside of the internet where you can't just um you know you can't win a presidency by posting online basically but you can <clears> certainly <throat> no, take down money, like a fucking money hate group that engages in vile targeted harassments of individuals to the point of suicide oh for sure and yeah i mean don't you like agree with me on that respect like a lot of what we do or pretty much all of what we do really it's not really you know, it's not really meaningful politics. I wouldn't say it's not politics at all, because obviously it is. But, like, it's a lot more about, like, putting on a show with a sort of politics-y, like, uh, vibe to it more than anything else. I can agree with you. Like, yeah, what, what's the meaning of it all if it's all just entertainment? Well, well, for me, primarily it's to have a job it's a job you know if i wasn't doing this i would go get a phd and just research all day to write shit that no one else no one would ever would probably ever read so compared to that it's way better i guess that's fair you know i i think like if, there, if there's no point in talking about politics like if it's all theater then it's, like, i, I should there, stop is there any point sure there's like the like the point is should the point should be like I mean Keffel's like has the ability to create to to um uh to get capital in order to create actual change in her immediate like community like she could set up housing co-ops she could set up like all sorts of things like in real life from the money she makes from her content um, I mean, like, people who believe in NGOs can, like, say, you know, she's raised heaps of money for several causes, um, like, I'm not really interested in, um, contributing too much to, um, I mean, it's better than, not, it's better, it, it does more in the real world than internet politics does, obviously, so I'm not saying don't donate to uh, NGOs, but I'm just saying, like, you're still just basically... You're basically just uh, lining the pockets of um, of of millionaires and billionaires, like like through through most NGOs. Like most NGOs just don't don't serve to like solve the underlying machine of capitalism. Like we we watched uh, Chicken Run the we watched that video about Chicken Run the other day. You can't beat the pie maker 
by knocking around inside it, you have to completely dismantle it and uh, reassemble the machine in order to um, make it a system which uh, supports the proletariat. You need to destroy it completely uh, in a way that it can't, can't be um, created again, can't be fixed. Well, fixed. Put back together to um, support the... Uh, unjustified hierarchies within society. There's a I, point, but that's it's true. not like... Sure, there is a point, of course. Talking about anything, you know, even... And I honestly think this is one of the reasons why um, the online leftist uh, content creator community uh, tends to hate uh, Bad Empanada because he basically just... It, it's It doesn't feel nice to... It's not a nice feeling to have someone point out to you that what you're doing, um, what you're creating as content has no real effect in the real world other than to entertain people. Like, it's not a fun thing to happen because obviously, obviously Kevils cares about the content she creates. She cares about what she says to a certain degree. Like, I'm going to give her that, that benefit of the doubt um, at the very least. But, like, <clears throat> having someone turn around and say, well, actually, you know, you're not doing uh, nearly as much as you think, and the things that you love um, don't, aren't actually, like, changing the world. You're not changing the world, you're not going to save the world, you're not the superhero, you're not You're not the main character. That sucks to hear, especially when you are treated as the main character most of the time. We're not particularly doing it with the motivation of... Um... You know, it creates something. it creates a sense of cognitive dissonance, which, which of which people like Vorsch and the debate debate, debate bro community rail against, basically, in order to um, not have to deal with that cognitive dissonance. In the real world, you you might still do that. <clears throat> I'm sure Andrew Tate didn't give a fuck if he turned a bunch of boys into misogynists. He just wanted to make money off them, but he did it anyway, you know. But like, mm. I think primarily, you know, we have to stay grounded. We have to remember that. You know, the latest um, drama between streamer one and streamer two over some niche political position that no one is actually really talking about outside of this space doesn't really have a massive effect on anything or really effect at all. It's true. Um, uh, th there's something um, I, I oh, fuck. So Logan Paul's giving my cat an abortion. I got to go. What? Okay. I don't think that went as planned for her. Careful, just Logan Paul's giving her cat an abortion. She's got to go. Okay. Came in like intending to like do what? some internet streamer drama, and it didn't didn't quite go as well as I think she had hoped. No, no, Kefels just tried to confront me on telling someone to kill themselves. Ended up admitting that she herself had told people to kill themselves, and then um, rage quit the call. I don't know what that was about, honestly. She said that it is misogynistic to ask her why she associates with a sexual predator. Yeah, she was just uh, not prepared to talk to someone who can keep calm and actually respond to the shit that she's saying. Rather than just like, I don't know, getting angry or whatever. So, um, typical debate streamer stuff, whatever. Yeah, I mean, if t if Kefels is saying, I sent people to her chat, she's just plain lying. Like, I don't know how, how she could like get offended at me, apparently. Not thinking that this particular space that we're all in is particularly serious when, like, she just wanted to talk about like a purported Twitter DM from two years ago. That, if anything, is very good proof of how deeply unserious this whole space is. I mean, I didn't plan as anything. I thought she just wanted to talk about um, Ireland or something. So here's our DMs. Here's all the DMs that are relevant to what just happened. And I'm happy to leak these because there's nothing compromising in there whatsoever. And um, just to provide. Yes, I find so, this one really interesting. Know, but like, but then, but um, honestly, to me, uh, by by showing these DMs, like Bad Empanada, not intentionally, but he's coming off coming across as a bit of a nice guy. Um, but like, yeah, take take with that what you will. This is just this is just optics. This isn't like me trying to speculate as to his actual intentions. I I don't know, like yeah, he seems like a pretty like like I I, I not no shade, but like he just seems like a pretty asexual guy. Might not be. Who cares? 
even know what that was. Clearly she had something going on behind the scenes that made her think like it would be a good idea to confront me and own me or whatever. So um, this is from like when- You can never the, fucking tell with these people. This is Farms thing. Before that it was just like random DMs that I sent to her and she sent back to me every now and again. I think I went on her stream once and we used Discord. I don't remember, I don't remember what it was about. But you know, this was during the Kiwi Farms thing. I asked her if she had a, a link to PayPal for donations. She sent me it. I donated it to her. <laughs> also like sued the quartering, please. <laughs> because I saw Love people it. like, you know, trying. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. I dishonestly accused her of racism on Twitter. Then a couple months later, I said, check Twitter DMs, it's serious. And the reason why I sent her that is because someone commented on my channel saying that they were the person who went, like, tracked her, like, doxed her in Northern Ireland and, like, threatened her, mm -hmm. who said, you know, posted a picture outside her house. And I checked his channel and he had identifying information on his channel. I got his name. Yeah, this is pretty... I found the school that he went to. So I sent her that on Twitter. That's what that was about. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that um I'm glad that Bad Empanada talks about it. I'm glad that uh, Hassan constantly talks about it. Like, you know, more and more leftist creators are talking about this stuff. And that's why I fucking talk about it as well, even though I'm not a I, I'm not even not a not a real content creator, I'm just like I guess you could call it. I don't really make money from this, so it's only a hobby at this point. I'd love for it to become a job, but like from the start, I am the anti-parasocial parasocial streamer. And then we didn't talk for um, like two months, and she randomly sends me a DM saying, "Hello, my friend wants to debate you. I would like to moderate." I said, "Lol, why?" Uh, yeah, and then she says this because you threatened to sue them and i just left her with like a what? question mark in disbelief like are you serious like I, 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 is that like seriously and she never responded obviously because i think she got the message there I, i'm sorry i don't give a shit about me threat apparently threatening to see your friend and then yesterday she messaged me saying hi bampanada bampanada wait 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 wait. so if her friend wants to debate him on something but like because he threatened to sue is that what that was all about that that's the weirdest thing this this fucking space is fucking hilarious it's like oh this person is threatening to sue me i want to talk i want to talk to him on stream about this why why? That is the weirdest shit. I don't understand it. People are weird. Stop being weird, people. Whatever. Hi. Was wondering if you come on my stream to talk because we kind of left things ro ro off Rocky. I said, okay. About what, though? I tried to keep it on the download because I didn't want to go into specifics about the situation. It sounded dangerous for you. That's in relation to, you know, the, the reason why I privated my video on her and the reason why she took down her Luna video. It's because she oh, told she me take things that about down? the situation that she was in that made me see things in a different light. And I'm not going to share them because unlike her, I'm not an incredibly spiteful person. But, you know, it was, it was more than good enough for me to be like, okay, I made this video of incomplete information. I'm going to take it down. Wait. Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. What's wrong with being a spiteful person? Like, that's, that, that, that's, that's, uh, that's not a, uh, you can't really apply moral, morality to that unless, uh, unless you're looking at the actions of said spite. Then today I messaged her, like, hello, at seven, Kefels, let me know if you want me to come on. I fear we will not have much to argue about, though. She says, yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, tell me a little bit in advance when you want me to come on. How about in 20 minutes? I could do, like, an hour at the earliest. Okay, 9 EST. Okay. And then she says, 18 minutes before the time, I'm drunk, I need to bail. I said, really? I just went live? And, um... She comes, she says, Yeah, that was the dumbest video ever. And I said, My chatters are like 40 random idiots who are currently looking at an MS Paint intro screen and listening to Bashar Syria Assad on loop. I haven't told them to do anything, lol. Then she says, Fuck it, fine, let's talk. And I said, do you think I'm here to debate you or something? I don't even know what's going on. Can you tell me the names of whoever, of whoever came to your chat? I would like to permanently ban them all. Are we doing this? I'm here. And then she called me. And then after the um, incredible conversation, I said, I don't think that went how you had planned, but I hope it helped you get closer to the circles that you were trying to appeal to, which I think is a pretty proportionate response. 
And then she says, infrared rising, I said, LOL. I thought you wanted to talk about the Ireland stuff, but whatever, that was fine too. She says, I did, but I didn't want to have that conversation. Didn't feel after talking about it because it involves um, talking about traumatic stuff, so I asked to cancel. She never asked me to cancel. She just said she was canceling. I said I went live anyway, and then um, she said... Yeah, that, that, I mean, that, that that's an issue to me. Like, she, she did... She did cancel with him, and he was a bit pushy about that. So yeah, mm. yeah, gotta point out that that was that was an L for Bad and Panada. My chatters were apparently harassing her, like just random self victimization. Like, come on, like some random person went to your stream chat from my from my chat. Big fucking deal. Happens all the fucking time on Twitch. Yeah, your, your stream is like 10 happen. times bigger than mine. All that matters is that I didn't incite them to do it <clears> in, in any way because at that point I hadn't said anything. I was literally on my stream intro screen. I hadn't said a single thing. And I literally said that I would ban them. So, you know. See someone smoking illegal like, proof is like you banned them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I was fine with you cancelling and I didn't send any of these idiots to your chat. If you tell me who they are, I'll ban them. And then she, she someone's in my chat said she's calling me a, an abuser on her stream, which is pretty interesting because she is a best friend with Vosh, actual sexual abuser. Interesting. And after admitting to doing the same thing you said I did, because, you know, she admitted to sending death threats to people, which was apparently what she was accusing me of. While covering for an actual sexual predator, whatever it takes, LMAL, LMAO, whoever the fuck you're supposed to pronounce that. And she was, says, you are insane, I didn't, don't feel <laughs> comfortable talking to you. And then she blocked me. Incredible. I mean, no, she's not going to apologize. No fucking way. People in this circle do not apologize. Like, you know, I treated her completely amicably that entire time. Like, everything that I had brought up about her yeah. personally was relevant to the conversation. Uh, uh, El you know, she's trying to accuse <laughs> me of some sort He's of... He's a jealous, <laughs> bottom-feeding scavenger of the lowest order. You no know, moral fault. I brought up that she's best friends of a sexual abuser, which is true. She is. And then I brought up the fact that she has done, at least once for sure, confirmed, because she admitted it, what she was accusing me of doing. Both relevant to the conversation. So, um, she confronted me. She wanted me to go on her stream. She immediately, like, made it about, like, um, a two-year-old DM that she claims I sent. I still haven't seen any evidence for this, by the way, but whatever. Either way. And I was like, you, you've done the same thing. What the fuck are you talking about? You clearly are being very dishonest here. Um, I guess that's misogyny. You know, it's whatever. If there's anyone who came out looking insane from that conversation, as she would, as she likes to do, the frame here, it definitely was not me. Very interesting sort of like immediate self-victimization. You're being misogynist, all of these like random allegations coming out of nowhere. You know, it's whatever. Whatever, that was pretty bizarre, honestly. When you confront someone and it doesn't go as you had planned, it's time to do the ableism. That's how it works. I'm not like that when I'm drunk. Like me being drunk doesn't cause me to like randomly try to- Yeah, talk. yeah, no. Nah. If someone says they're drunk and they don't want to talk, dude. Yeah, that this is just just fucking hell, dude. Like like uh, and 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 this comes down to uh, growing up um, with male privilege. Um, you you don't really understand this unless you're a woman. But like, men are given free reign to be pushy with women, and that's acceptable in society. So like him talking about this is kind of like a result of him still holding on to those things without realizing it and that's not me the let's all cancel let's all cancel uh bad empanada woo uh but yeah d d you need to accept you need to accept what people say to you if they don't want to talk to you just accept it and fucking move on sorry like don't don't be fucking pushy because yeah that was that was a bad idea that that definitely contributed to yeah, you know, what ended up happening. Conversation into like something about two year old internet drama that you clearly don't even care about because you've engaged in the exact same sort of behavior that you're, you're like moralizing about. So shut the fuck up. If anything, being drunk for most people makes you more relaxed. Stop. The fact of the matter is, no. um, she's not particularly worth hating or disliking or anything. Her platform is small. Her overall politics aren't bad. You know, even if she's, um, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, pretty, pretty massive slime ball from what I just discovered. Yeah, cancel them both. I'll I see both sides. This, get 50 bucks from the ads on it and be done with it. I mean, what do I have? It's kind of what I'm doing. I don't know. I'm like, I'm like literally like commenting on like, um, both, both, uh, points of view from this. But yeah, Kevl said some dumb shit and bad empanada is done. It like, it was a bit coercive with, um, with, uh, Kevils, which is cringe. 
So yeah, should have should have shouldn't have complained about that. Shouldn't have, should have just taken that as an answer and fucking moved on. Be angry about like someone who um invited me. It's not like a big deal, like a but like about, fuck, um, dude. Like that, something... that that's that's the same mo that abusers use. I'm not calling him an abuser, but just like, mm, yeah, then maybe think about that one, dude. That they went through recently. I don't want I I don't want to interact with you because I'm drunk. Think about that for a second. Just 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 think about that for a second. Okay? <laughs> think about that concept and apply it to different situations. And and maybe you can understand why that might make Kevils uncomfortable and um to perhaps uh, losing her temper with you early on and then bringing up stupid drama instead of actually having a conversation with you. Perhaps the actions you took initially may have contributed to this whole situation coming forth. I'm not saying it was uh, Bad Empanada's fault. I'm just saying this was cringe and you shouldn't have done it. From what I understood, I thought that was what it was about. Just randomly, like, basically shit themselves and embarrass themselves. I don't really have anything to be angry yeah. about. If anything, she should just be angry. Well, you should... Uh, the, the issue is... is, is the, the bigger issue is considering it as a both-side situation. There's, it's not about sides. It's just fucking looking at the material, material reality and judging a conclusion from that. Just, just, just do your dialectics. That's yeah, yeah, all. Yeah, that's the first video. My gosh. Um, yeah, so I, we'll quickly look at uh, the Keffel's first one. I don't think I've seen this one. So I didn't really want to put out a video about this, to be honest, but there's a YouTuber right now who is currently lying about me. I'm quite... pretty pissed off because I need that plushie. I, I need that plushie in my life. I need it right now. I, 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 I need it. Gib bit and trying to fling as much shit as possible for views we've been friends for several years and this entire thing is really unexpected and i wanted to get into it because tomorrow i'm going to be uploading the incident that occurred on stream and i kind of want to explain like the history here and what happened so there's a youtuber his name is bad empanada he does politics videos, and he has a second- This is so weird to me hearing, like, Keffels describe Bad Empanada as if nobody knows who the fuck he is. It's just weird to me, like, maybe her audience doesn't intersect, but, like, Bad Empanada has been around a l for a lot longer, and has interacted with the people that she's- that she interacts with, like, for longer than she's really been around. It's just weird- it's just weird to me, I'm not- channel Not throwing called shade. Bad it's Empanada 2 weird. where he just gets into drama. Um, yeah. I asked him to come on my stream the other day. I wanted him to come on my stream because we had previously gone into a spat months ago and he did a call out video on me and once I explained the situation oh, so this is the he Luna Oi stuff. that he just didn't have the background knowledge and he took it down. So what the situation was is during all the drop kiwi farm stuff while I was in Ireland there were five swatting attempts. Um, the police had come to the apartment I was staying in multiple times because some people were reporting stabbings and yeah, but shootings. What's that got to do with suicides. Luna Oi? It was really fucking messy, to be honest. And after the person came, the stalker who showed up outside the apartment or the flat that I was staying in with a note telling me to get out of their community and calling me transphobic slurs and claiming to be from a designated terrorist organization, which, you know, incredibly insane. Um, I decided to meet up with a local member of the PSNI, Northern Ireland's police service. Wait, nobody's threatened to kill you before? To your face? Wow, America must be safer than I thought. Now, I'm aware of the history there. I'm aware that Northern Ireland is a colony of the United Kingdom. I, I'm not stupid. But in this situation, I was legitimately afraid for my life. And I needed police protection. So I met up oh, with him. And I was okay. able to get that support. Yeah, that okay. said, um, on the way out of that meeting. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So this is so a bit of background uh, on this one here. She posed with some pictures with uh, like 
Um, yeah, I know which video that um, that he took down, and it wasn't just about Luna Oi. Um, so uh, on Twitter or Facebook, I can't remember which one. Um, hey, Casey Lee. Hey, Casey Lee. It's been ages. Canada. Oh, yeah, Canada. That's right. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, like, uh, so, yeah, this makes sense. And that does provide more context. So, yeah, uh, Keffel's um, posed with pictures with one of the, um, pol the basically a pink washing uh, police officer. So one of the officers that um, the police uses for uh, pink washing. Um, and, you know, she got a lot of criticism for that. I think I criticized her for that as well. But it makes a lot more sense considering, like, yeah, that's that that's why I love me. I love anal meme. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. But yeah, I, yeah, I, no, I understand why he took down that video because obviously, like, it, it's 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 criticizing her for you know being all all buddy buddy with the police force while you know she's being swatted. Bit like the police people are trying to use the police force to kill her and harass her. Um, that makes a lot of sense. That, as much as I mentioned earlier with her connections to her, her uh, friend, friendship, I don't know how close that friendship is with Vorsch, but, like, she's large enough now that if she, she does, if she turns on Vorsch in any way, um, that's gonna fucking ruin her career. Unfortunately. You can't, you can't, you can't disagree with the, the, the Cishet Whites. Even though I think that, um, I don't know, Vorsch calls himself queer. Who knows? I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> but yeah, that makes more sense now. And he asked if he could take a photo with me. So I said, yeah, sure. You know, he, yeah. he was really nice to me. So yeah. I was like, okay, I'll take a photo. It gets posted to Twitter and a whole bunch of leftists who love being mad at me, but had absolutely no context for it, decided to say that I was whitewashing the Northern Irish Police Service. I mean, which, like, yes. In, pra in 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 practice, like we're not talking about intentions here right now. I'm just talking about in 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 practice. Yes, that's what the reason for that was. Um, I love. Can, can oh my gosh, what is Can I get a picture of it? Ah, uh -huh. hold on a second. It says anal, so I'm just gonna be careful. <laughs> All right, hold on. Wait. Yeah, that one's okay. That one's safe. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Yep, yep, yep. But I don't understand the meme format. Maybe that's something that um, like can can people from Canada understand more. But yeah, Vlad and Panada. But yeah, that that that, that makes sense. Which, no, I wasn't. I, I never said anything positive about the Northern Irish Police Service. Yeah, but you gotta separate the intention from the reality, like, you know, like... But it's un it, it can be understandable while also being cringe at the same time. So, Bad Empanada decides, because of this, to put out a video calling me out. Um, not because of that circumstance, it was actually in spite, because I had made a video about Luna Oi being a landowner. Luna Oi yeah. is a Viet which which is the dumbest shit ever. That that video was so dumb. Uh, she didn't understand anything about how Vietnam works, and she was just basically jumping on the um, Luna Oi um, pun the Luna Oi bit bashing train. I don't, it doesn't really ruin her image. Like again, this is her job. <laughs> this is her job, and she and her life. Like, she didn't really have a choice. It's kind of like saying, yet you you posted that on an iPhone. Haha, -ha, you, yet you exist within a society. Like, what fucking choice did she have, really? Sucks. You got, you got, to, you got to play the game to, like, make it in ca a capitalist society. And she's playing the game. Why should we hate her for doing things that she's forced to do within a system that doesn't allow her to do otherwise? I guess we can... We, I, I mean, like, the Luna Oi thing was fucking dumb, and I'll criticize her about that because, like, she didn't understand anything about it. 
and, and oh my gosh what is she gonna say about youtuber it who's gone into a lot of back and forth with other youtubers yeah. i really wasn't thinking much about that back and forth no like luna always just can constantly attacked by white leftist youtubers in order to gain clout that's what happens that that that's what it is video um because i don't actually have really strong feelings about luna oi one way or another but that's kind of the background so months later i decided okay to ask she's not going to go into that she's not going to go into that all right well i mean like with, with luna oi she called her a land on owner luna oi doesn't own land um that's not you can't own land in vietnam it is publicly owned so the government like owns it but the government in Vietnam operates differently than Western governments. So having an understand, having an, an open mind at the very least about foreign countries is like a basic minimum when talking about them. Like even if you don't know anything about them, about them, you need to like not try not to look at things from a Western perspective. And that's what people constantly do with Luna Oi, like calling Luna a like I I went into that ages ago. It was just it was just it was just fucking annoying. <sighs> yeah, self-criticism. Yes, I know, but we should also have a little bit of literacy to understand, like, that it is a game. It's a game. Well, not a game, but, like, it's 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 a system that we're, like, trapped in. Like, the, her actions are completely understandable in, in the context of the situation, apart from the Luna Oi stuff. Although, I guess that was clout, changing, ch clout chasing. It just sucks that we're pitted against each other in this way and that we have to um, criticise everything that's not white and western. Uh, in order to be leftists and famous. Unless you're Hassan, apparently. Nada ...to come on my stream. And when it came time to come on the stream, uh, about 30 minutes before, I told him that I wanted to bail on the stream. Um, you know, I'd been drinking, I felt uncomfortable, and the topic of Ireland is something that's absolutely very fair. traumatic to me. I'm in therapy. Again, absolutely fair. All of the traumatic events that had occurred over the last several months of my life so his response to that was to say come mm. on and try and pressure me into it yep. people from his which chat he did came into my which which he did uh, so like uh, the, he did pressure her uh into it she felt pressured like it, it, he doesn't you need to people need to understand this about uh, pressuring someone into doing something you don't have to intentionally pressure someone in order for someone to feel pressured you should listen to them saying no i don't want this yes i want this and maybe ask a follow-up question for understanding but not to pressure them into it you know what i mean like bad empanada can't really say that he didn't pressure her because like he's not the, the his opinion isn't the one that matters in this aspect i chat and tried to pressure me into it and then he himself came into my twitch chat to pressure me into it so i finally agreed and the conversation happened but i didn't want to talk about that and honestly i held my tongue on something that had upset me for years you know I have to admit, like yeah, this makes sense. Now. Over the years, yeah. I've had my tongue held. I've got a feel. I've got a feeling like that I'm absolutely right, and that the pre pressure from Bad Empanada and also the making light of her experiences as a trans, a trans female um, streamer, um, basically made her like fucking like because this happens with me as well when i'm in an argument with someone to lose my temper i'll talk about shit that i've held in for uh, years and uh, i don't like that about myself I, it's something that i try and change about my i would like to change and become better at and try and talk about things openly and sooner and quicker so that it doesn't build up but yeah i understand this completely this is this is normal this is normal this is a normal human interaction on a lot of people who i've been friendly with called because it. i don't like rocking the boat and as i've said in the past this is a different year and i'm not going to be afraid i don't want to get into these fights but the situation with him was really unfortunate i just don't like that she's like talking herself up about this rather than accepting that that maybe that's a negative part of your um, personality that holding it in is the problem like for that long rather than 
talking about it like I don't know I don't know like mm, it just seems like a little bit off base from what would be actual help actually mentally helpful in this circumstance and you'll see <coughs> it when I upload the video tomorrow about the incident that occurred Bad Empanada decided to tell this 20 year old uh, Asian American second generation immigrant who all he does is post his political takes on Twitter. That's that's his entire thing. He slid into his DMs. Um... Yeah, but who was it sent to? Wait. Oh, you can't see it because this is in the way. Like, wait, do screenshots capture the um capture the buttons as well? Wait a second. Hold on a second. Hmm? Oh, hey, they do. I didn't know that. Huh. Cool. Sorry, we just <laughs> I just found that interesting. Like, I'm just like never noticed that that the uh, buttons are at the bottom of the screenshot. Oh. <sighs> Okay. But who is this person? Um, I really want to know who it is. A history of mental health issues and said, okay. uh, he said, just kill yourself. Literally, he was inviting him uh -huh. to commit suicide. That's fucked up. You know, I, I don't think that's acceptable. I and disavow. In defense of this, he decides that that person who is formerly my friend, we, we talk every now and then, but regardless, his defense was, well, they're a Nazi. They're not a Nazi. They're not a fascist. No, but I can see why you would make that kind of defense. If you go into Bad Empanada's channel, one of his most popular videos is him defending Stalin's mass murder and ethnic cleansing and genocide. No, it isn't. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, let me show you the video that she's talking about. No, fuck's sake. Like I said, I've watched all of his videos, like, multiple times. Like, they're pretty informative and properly... <sighs> Fucking hell. Wait, what's this? My gosh, that's an awful photo. I would sue the person taking it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but we're going to have a look at that. So that video was a criticism of Wikipedia. Um, he's obviously done, I mean, he's very aware of the, uh, thing, of, 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 like, for the same reason that she's, um, for the same reason she's labelled this video as bad empanada won't leave me alone and it's creepy, he's using the Holodomor as a, um, as a thing, wait, what? I missed some. The fuck? I thought I, I thought I watched all of them. My gosh, I need to go back through. How did I miss them? Um, where are we looking at? Wait, no, I definitely have watched this. This but this bar is a fucking lie. Where are we? Uh, da definitely watch this one. Manifest Destiny to Lebensbraum. Ah, uh, Holodomor genocide question. Like he's obvious. He has video, obviously um he's obviously labeled it that way for the same reason she's labeled her thing that way. So. He has no excuse on that front, but uh, this is not a defense of Stalin. This is a, a review of the literature around why the Holodomor happened, the politics around what we call genocide, and the way that Western the Western hegemony uh, controls that term in order to impose its uh, rule upon smaller nations, basically. Um... This is, I'm not going to say it's a lie because I bet she hasn't actually watched the video, but if it's just not true. If you go on to Bad Empanada's channel, one of his most popular videos is him defending Stalin's mass murder and... What? What the fuck was that? Mass murder and...
Oh, I can do it this way. Right. What the fuck? What's going on here? Oh, another, hold on up a second. <gasps> Why is it not working? That's fucking annoying. Oh my goodness. Ethnic we will be taking a break after this. I desperately I need to like go to the loo. Label someone that you don't like as a fascist, you can immediately dehumanize them and justify anything against them. Just like you did then by making up, uh, basically lying about his videos and the way that he uh, structured the information around that. Basically, this doing what. This is so weird, like, doing the same- th this is something I see with debate bros a lot as well. I'm not calling Deck Hevels a debate bro, she's like, debate bro adjacent, but like, a lot of debate bros do the thing while- while- is just pro projecting onto their opponent, it's just fucking weird. That's inc- it's funny, because that's what fascists do. That dehumanization what? tactic is literally what fascists do. Yeah, and it works. And I- it, it works. That's why they do it. And I disavow. Definitely don't use fascist tactics on ta on fascists. Definitely do that. Don't don't do that. I disavow. Um, so it turned into this thing where we went back on back and forth, and he tried to turn it into a debate Wait, about what? the ethics of on that in that picture. Tell me it's a lie. Tell me that ain't true. What? What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait. Was that her bedroom though? Wait. Hold on, no, 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 wait, oh no, he's got, is that her, oh fuck, it's got a name on, no, mm, is this her bedroom though? This looks like, this, honestly, this looks like a picture that uh, someone's taken in an office and put her name up there. Like, this looks like an office. I, I'm just saying, like... I'm not just going to believe that it's her bedroom just because, like, she's in it. You know what I mean? But that's interesting. Ah, yes. And I'm pretty sure that, um, I'm fairly sure that, uh, um, Bad Empanada actually goes into that, that particular one. But yeah, I don't know the con- I don't know the context of this picture. It looks like something that she- she was- she was a part of, um, the Communist Party. She was a member of the Communist Party. I would be- I would be very- I would be more- I would much- I would- it's much more likely that this was taken in the office of the Communist Party, is what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, it's not necessarily her her wall, is what I'm fucking saying. Yeah. This is this is one of the things I hate about this, about Twitter stuff is like you can't just believe it. It's just like putting Luna Oi's um like a a a faked um Facebook uh, post about um selling land. And uh, w which doesn't actually have anything about settling land on it, and just assuming the context from what the person's post underneath. It's it's libs of TikTok. It's it's lib. Oh, it is ha fucking hilarious. Hilarious if true. When it is and is worth not okay keeping to tell in mind. To take their own life. Um, I decided to leave the conversation abruptly because I I couldn't take it. It was a really fucking stupid conversation, and it was very upsetting. His response to so this has the been same like thing. two call of videos on YouTube, and he's trying to say that I gaslit him and that I manipulated him. And oh, I guess this I one came out. Same thing that he I, did. I guess this one came after this one. I just didn't wasn't sure of the actual timing. Even though the situation, yeah, we don't know the was, we don't know the context for sure, but let's cancel everyone. Um, saying that, like I, I told an actual neo-Nazi who had been stalking me to take their own life. I threw okay. like a third party 
I said, hey, can you tell them this? And they did. Mm -hmm. I think that's a completely different situation. It's like, you know, as a trans person, as someone who a lot of people do legitimately Again, again, like, we d I don't have any fucking context. You're giving context to the um the neo-nazi but no there's been no context added about the other thing also doesn't matter also disavow plus l i don't i guess want dead i get a lot of people beside the point insane obsessed unhinged people who wish harm on me all the time and being able to stand up and say that to the people who want to hurt me is a very brave thing to do even though it's a dangerous thing to do but hey, i think Zoe, being a guy in your welcome back it's been ages early 40s and just saying this to some early 20-something Twitter anarchist because you don't like their political take, and then justifying it... Again, like, that wasn't really how the conversation went. He had no idea of the context, and he just said, like, that... Basically, good, bad empanada's position was, if he did actually do that, then it was for a good reason. And, like, no one has any context over that. Abs at, at all. Like, I don't have any context over that, and I don't really care. I, I disavow, anyway. Like, I just but I just don't care. Hawk because you think they might be a fascist when they are obviously not, is insane behavior. It's yes, really obviously. fucking gross. And ob ob obvious with this screenshot that, uh, that, 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 we, that we put up earlier. No, obvious. Like, this, this screenshot tells me everything I need to know. Just, just that. Uh, doesn't tell me fuck all. But you need to get better reception. You need 5G. I get a lot of people, a lot of insane, obsessed, unhinged people who wish harm on me all the time. And being and this is what I fucking hate about uh, the debate bro space. It's like so normalized to just call people insane and de deranged. Like, do you not understand that by calling people insane and deranged, um, even if they are like, even if they are try threatening your life, right? But you are literally engaging in the dehumanizing of your enemies which i don't fucking think is a inherently bad thing in and of itself i care more about the praxis the practical um the practical um material results of this sort of thing like the the, the reason why we don't allow fascists to do this is because it works is what i'm saying maybe think about that Think about the way you dehumanize your enemies by calling them insane. Think about what the word gaslighting actually means and maybe come to a self-realization about yourself and the way you talk about people. Being able to stand up and say that to the people who want to hurt me is a very brave thing to do, even though it's a dangerous thing to do. But I think being a guy in your mid-30s to early 40s and just saying this to some early 20-something Twitter anarchist because you don't like their political take, and then justifying it ad hoc because you think they might be a fascist when they are obviously not, is insane behavior. Why is it? It's really yeah. fucking... Insane. Yeah, because, like, that's... That's... Just, just distilling everything down to sanity is, is, is what is going to be, like, effective uh, within this conversation. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it gross and this entire situation is really dumb. no self-awareness i'm hoping that at all. it ends up going away but he keeps making these videos so i thought i should make one yeah. i think in the end this bridge is burned Money. like we've been friends for years which is Money. the insane part of this all and i even tried to apologize but he would not accept a call he kept insisting that i'm doing all of this for clout when we have very different audiences you are and i'm not getting i'm not going to gain literally anything out of this situation yes you are <laughs> Like, fucking, your, your audience crosses over with Vorsch, and Vorsch's audience hates Bad Empanada. Like, this is, like, strategically a wonderful move. Like, what are you talking about? And also, like, this is all just fucking... This is this is all theatre. Like, Bad Empanada said, he was, wasn't wrong there. Like, he did, he did fucking coerce you into doing that, and a conversation about why that was wrong could be a really good conversation to have, and you could even have that conversation with Bad Empanada. There's, like, something that he'd probably be okay talking about, confronting him on the misogynistic aspects of his conversation with you and the interactions you've, he's had with you would be useful, not from, like, a clout, uh, Keffels versus Bad Empanada bullshit that you've turned it into. This is, this is all just theater. This is all just doing what is going to make the most amount of money and clout for you. And, and I'm not throwing shade on that. That's your fucking job.
and people who don't people who criticize you for doing your job or just don't understand what it is that you do so i guess tomorrow when i upload the video you'll see you'll see exactly what happened but i hope that like in a week from now bad empanada will stop lying about me and stop trying to manipulate his viewers and stop trying to gaslight me gaslight what the fuck are you talking about I, I really, really, really want to just, just, just go up to these debate bros and get them to explain what they mean by gaslighting, because I don't think they understand what that word means at all, and it pisses me off. It's just so fucking disappointing. Um, I need to take a quick break, so don't go anywhere, or do. Uh, when I get back, we're going to continue this fucking mess of the drama and have some fun talking about it. Um... Ah! I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. I need to do the smooth. The smooth back soon. All right. Ah, see you soon. BRB. Um, back. Um, okay, so this thing just popped up in my feed that uh, I was unaware of. I'm just gonna... Gonna... I need to... Because it's it was through a different thing, so I'm just gonna have to play with this. Um, did you all know that uh, Steven Crowder was bisexual? Did, did anyone know this? Like... Does that did cuz cuz this is the first I've heard about it. Yeah. I guess oh he, as he says it he was. He was. Uh I'm not joking either. Uh, I'm not fucking joking either like uh Yeah. I'm afraid of it coming back. I'm afraid of Mr. Hyde rearing his ugly. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Don't, don't want to make it like funny, slow. Uh, I need to put the closed captions on. I need you to. You, I need you to like. It's not even take. It's not even clip chimped. It's not even clip chimped. Hold on. I also want to change my thing. I want to put that in my chat, in my in my title, because this is amazing. Breaking news! Breaking news! He probably is. Oh my gosh! No wonder he's so angry. He's having to repress himself. Far out. All right. I'm afraid of it coming back. I'm afraid of Mr. Hyde rearing his ugly bisexual head. That was a sm that was a short phase. Uh... That was a short phase. Like he literally admitted to this. This 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 video is three years old. Three years old. Um, I just don't understand what's like why why it can't be a guy who prefers a. Uh men over women and also not like to pay high taxes. Hey, I can be bisexual and also want lower taxes. Okay, let me ask you this. <laughs> How many people who claim to be bisexual are actual bisexual? Do you think it's a, a, do you think a lot of them lie about it to s seem cool? I'm coming for you. I'm afraid of it coming back. I'm afraid of Mr. Hyde rearing his ugly bisexual head. That was a, sm that was a short phase. Not a long segment, but... Uh, okay. I need to tweet about this immediately. Live tweet time!
Yeah. Amazing. Not that I'm going to get that going at all, but like, holy shit. Steven Crowder is fucking bisexual. Uh, or, I, I mean, if he's calling it a small face, then he doesn't, probably doesn't identify as bisexual now, so I'm not going to say he is bisexual, because, like, meh. I mean, fuck him, but, like, there's no, there's no, like, practical, practical, um, reward for, um, being shitty about this. So he was, he, he was out of the closet, and then he went back into the closet. This is amazing to me. Amazing. I love this. Holy shit. I want this to blow up. And it will blow up. Do you know why? Because I heard about this from looking at my feed. And one of the top things on my feed at the moment... No. Nope. Where was it? It was up here. Um, basically, uh, Hassan's reacted to this. Holy shit. So you can watch Hassan to get, like, the real clip, but, like, this is, like, just coming out. But, like, this is three years old! Three years old! My gosh! I guess I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. I was, I was, um, I was saying that it was an egg, but everyone else was saying, "Nah, nah, nah. He's, he's in the closet." I guess I'm losing that bet. Wow. Sorry. I find that, I find that, just interesting. <coughs> Pardon me. Just give me a second. <sighs> it's just incredible. Wait, what? Someone... Okay. All right. So let's watch this video. This video came out before the last one that we watched. Hey guys, so here's a bit of a follow-up regarding the completely ridiculous discussion that I had with Keffels yesterday. So if you don't know what happened, <coughs> I highly suggest you don't actually go and watch the video. It's a complete waste of your time. But basically, um, Keffels invited me on her stream because um, I thought we were going to talk about something that had happened to her that she kind of, she told me she wanted to clear the air on or something because we talked about it in private and I guess she wanted to talk about it publicly. Cool. And she ended up like confronting me with the most bizarre, our allegations about me according to her um wishing death upon um her anonymous anarchist twitter friend two years ago and then she started screaming about like how um i am a gaslighter i am a misogynist and how i am i mean yes you were misogynist about that like that is true um you know just like doing terribly redeemable shit to her i'm a, I'm a piece of shit blah 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 all this stuff and it was just such a massive oh, come on man you know you're a piece of shit we all are I mean, that's why that we that's why we watch you <laughs> joke because not only does she it doesn't take away from you having the, the correct sort of opinions a lot of the time announcing as she actually admitted you can during... you can be a piece of shit and be right you know in the conversation but she's a massive suck up and like just openly lords people like Vosh who have said things like this just to give you a bit of a refresher i was swarmed by people calling me a transphobe calling me a bigot 
calling me a reactionary, calling me a grifter, calling me a bad faith actor, calling me uh, 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 like like cis centric. I, I was called a Strasserite. That's a left leaning Nazi or a socialist Nazi. I was called. That's a bit much. Pretty much every negative thing that you can call me. Um, and the same thing happened here. And this was just in response to to thoughts line blocking me. Um, these people are subhuman and I want them to kill themselves. Now, I'm not saying obviously. Okay. That she's responsible for the behavior of other people who she has. So, um, yeah, you're, you are all of those things that you said then, Vosh. Um, I guess Vosh wants me to kill myself. Cool. Cool, I'm subhuman and I should kill myself. Cool. Wonderful. People are subhuman and I want them to kill themselves. Now, I'm not saying, obviously, that she's responsible for the behavior of other people who she happens to associate nice. with but she's certainly obviously not genuine well fuck well fuck you like now i'm not going to do it out of spite fuck you anyone <laughs> concerned with what she accuses me of having done considering that she's both done it herself and she just openly talks about how fucking great that guy is when he just basically told hundreds upon hundreds of people to kill themselves because i mean like i i would like to have some source for that because that's nah. i i haven't seen keffel's like actually like talking about how awesome vorsh is so if someone, I'm not saying that she hasn't. I'm just like, I, I need, I need your receipts. If you're gonna say something on screen, give me receipts. Give me, give me that shit because I'm not gonna fucking look it up. I'm not gonna. I, I can be fucked doing that, dude. They had insulted him on the internet. Like, give me a fucking break. But anyway, so obviously there must be some sort of ulterior motive for her, like just coming at me with these random, made-up allegations that she herself has also admitted. Is well, no, it's pretty clear that she was pissed off that you that you pressured her into talking to her when she already said that she didn't want to, um, and uh, pissed off that you were making light of her experiences and stuff that she's like of, like legitimately stressed out over on stream, and therefore she brought up something that had pissed her off ages ago, um, and wasn't prepared to uh, talk about. Like that's that is the situation everyone that that is the situation and and a conversation could be had about you know pressuring people into talking um when they've asked when they've been she Kleffels was clear that she didn't want to talk at that time and you shouldn't have pressured her that that's just and and it's not direct like intentional misogyny like this is the passive stuff that we just have that we just learn from our social interactions in society from growing up uh, that these are the things that we have to actively unlearn. Yeah. But, like, I can't hate Keffels for sucking up to Vosh because she wouldn't have a platform if she didn't. Let's be fucking honest about that. And if you think that um, she should give up on all of her dreams and ambitions as a streamer um, just because you want her to be some sort of bastion of light on the left... I'm sorry, but that's that, that that's an unreasonable thing to ask anyone. You know, it's not like us. It's not like telling a cop to quit. You know, it's like telling someone to stop using an iPhone because it's because it's got uh, the it's because it's got um, uh, it, it's built using slave labor. We're all part of this system, right? Like she's not, and it's just theater at the end of the day, and it doesn't fucking matter. It's just fucking theater, and she plays a role in that a role in that theater, and she makes money from that theater. And what she does in her own life, in her own community, is worth so much more than what she does online. So don't you you you're making gods out of people who were never wanted to be or never should have been treated as gods. This is celebrity culture, and you shouldn't be propping people up to higher levels of. Um, higher levels of uh, morality than they are even able to achieve. Keffels would not have the audience and reach she has if she didn't suck up to Vosh. It's like, you know what it is? It's like saying that, um, it's like blaming the victims of Weinstein. 
it's the same as that. It's like saying, oh, you know, they did that to make money. They got something out of it. Therefore, they weren't. They aren't real victims. Do you not see how this works? Again, look at look at the people that um, attack. Look at the trans women that don't uh, side with Vosh. Look at the uh, women that don't side with Vosh. Look at the minorities that don't side with Vosh. Look at the size of their audiences compared to the people that do. Curb your expectations of people. They're just people wanting to make money and exist within society. And I think that propping people up that high is uh, We're made up by the pointless. Way. But I, I honestly don't understand where this sort of audacity comes from. But she randomly well, I just I just fucking laid it out for you again, uh, a short while ago, and like just was talking to me like nothing had ever happened. And she's been, like, posting on Twitter and shit, calling me insane, saying that she would never talk to me again. It's all She has, which is pretty fucking, pretty fucking gross. Um, and stop. You don't need to do that in order to have an audience. Like, that's just taking it too far, dude. Just, well, just fuck. She lies. She's just a, a huge liar. Like, look at this shit. I will never talk to Bad Empanada again. Lol, dude is a freak. And then she sought me out to talk to me again today. And then she engages in, they love this for some reason, like just random ableism. This was so fucking stupid. This guy needs to see a therapist. Okay. Like, seriously, using the term gaslighting without understanding what it fucking means. Like, using the term gaslighting for, like, just a disagreement and then doing this. This is just debate bro bullshit, and I fucking hate it. So, I've ne honestly never seen anyone who is better deserving of the label of snake than this, like, considering what she just said to me in Discord DMs, which I'm going to go over right now. Like, I'm not going to provide, need to, I don't need to provide you with any sort of narrative regarding this, because this all really speaks for itself, okay? The context is, you know, what I went over earlier. I thought she wanted me to come on her stream to talk about something that we had already settled in private that she wanted to make more public or something i don't know whatever but i was you know i was happy to just talk about whatever and then which she... turns out to be the um the video talking about the video that he made and the video that she made and sort of like going over that slightly and then just being a bitch decided to like epically confront me i guess to like cater to like her liberal audience who like is really 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 invested in these sorts of um interpersonal creator dramas where they just love to see the fighting between creators and stuff and for that like oh bad empanada you're doing the same thing too come on this is the theater this is the theater as well i'm disappointed in you usually you're so fucking open about this shit like you know they make their judgments on what what's true or not based on what the creator they like said and what the creator they don't like said, you know, that's sort of thing. Yeah, that's, and the, that's, that's pretty their job. That's how they make money. To, um, you know, the sort of thing that she was trying to engage in here, which is why she just randomly confronted me like it was some sort of um, expose on me. And just she sort of she just sort of ended up admitting that she does the same thing she was accusing me of. And now in these DMs, it just makes it look even fucking worse. And yeah, it is kind of cringe that she hasn't really attacked uh, Vosh for like the shit that he says about trans women and trans women that specifically disagree with him need to kill themselves. Um, yeah. Hmm. And you fucking bet I'm gonna I'm gonna leak this shit. Like, what the fuck? She she apparently says to me that I was her friend in these DMs. Like, I don't think that was ever the case. I'm not friends with any random internet creators online. I'm not friends with anyone online. I my friends are people in real life i'm sorry but i did think we were like friendly acquaintances like you know we talk a little bit exchange a couple of lines of text every few months basically so um i thought like you know she wanted to come on to like have an actual useful productive chat about something and then she turned it into like a, this dumb fucking internet streamer drama debate thing and then after that she has the audacity to, like send me a friend request and talk to me again like nothing had ever happened this could all have like been avoided if like she could have been honest about like being upset with what uh with the way that uh, he was talking about shit you know because yeah but again like that's that that's not her brand so let's go over that <sighs> so here is the entire conversation she adds me as a friend 
I say LOL immediately because, you know, I can't fucking believe that she would just try to talk to me or something. Hello, what seems to be the problem? I linked her the video that we just played on stream. You are insane and I don't... Oh, about abortion. Hell. She's like, can we have a discussion with me without thinking that I'm abortion? I don't get it. Well, the thing is, I'm linking that not because I think you're Vosh, I'm linking it because I think it shows that you don't, don't genuinely give a shit about the shit that you were supposedly denouncing me for doing. Because you let this guy just say yeah. that he wants, like, hundreds of people. But it, it, is, it is hypocritical of her to go after Vosh for something that he did a couple of years ago and not go after... No, sorry, go after Bad Empanada for uh, one thing that he might have did, said uh, a couple of years ago to some random person that she doesn't know. Um... And not comment on Vorsch telling the entirety of the trans community that disagree with him and d dislike him for legitimate reasons uh, to kill themselves. Live on stream. Like, that's a fair fucking criticism to make on Bad Ambinata's part. <laughs> well, you don't I like think. him to kill themselves. You don't, you don't give a shit about that. Yet, um, you're happy to post on Twitter about how you're never going to talk to me because I am insane. Interesting. And, you know, and then I said that to her, Which is the I am bro I'm very much against being mean to Twitter anarchists. Oh, funny about that. Okay, so how is it not relevant that you suck up to this guy? She says, no, I don't. I said, who tells every trans person he, he dislikes to kill themselves? If you care about that, why haven't you epically confronted him live? Then Keffel says, I don't epically, co epically confront people live. That's not what I do. I feel like you don't understand my deal. She literally did just do that to me. So yeah, I said, you just tried, it did not go well. And she said, no, I never wanted to talk to you. That's patently false, let me show you. Hi, bad empanada. Was wondering that's if you actually, that's actually true. Because that... we kind of left things off rocky. Okay. Okay, fools, you never want That's actually true, what she said. She didn't want to talk to you at the time. Um, she's not, maybe not explaining it in a way that uh, is understandable, but like, she didn't actually want to talk to you that at that specific moment because she was uncomfortable with doing that and then you pressured her into doing that um you don't understand that you're not like you didn't a bad empanada didn't like purposefully do this this is the result of like society's pa society imposing patriarchal values on both men and women and it hurts fucking everyone in this case it's hurt fucking everyone this is not me saying, oh, you're a misogynist, uh, blah, blah, blah. This is saying, like, there are societal issues at play here that you're not noticing about yourself. And that's not a moral judgment, that's just the fact. And it is, and it's just frustrating for me on the outside watching this, seeing two people who are uh, upset about very legitimate things, not being able to convey why they're upset or what they're upset about. It's it's frustrating to me. But again, that's me being parasocial at the end of the day. They're not real people. They're just fucking brands attacking each other. This is like Pe Pepsi saying that they're better than Coke and vice versa. To talk to me. That's why you talk to me to invite me to your stream. <sighs> you fucking lying snake. It's incredible that she accused me of gaslighting in our conversation, whatever, or if you could even call that a conversation, considering the gaslighting that she engages in here. Actual gaslighting. Yeah, and then she oh, says, yes. I made you look insane, though. You genuinely have to be, like, just completely delusional if she thinks that she came out looking good from that conversation. I said, you embarrass yourself? She says, not really. I say, LOL. And then she says, I don't get why you're acting like this when we are friends. And I said, we clearly are not friends. Question mark is her reaction. She's got to be fucking with me. Um, and I said, and you asked me to come on your stream. She says, I backed out because I wasn't feeling up to talking about Ireland. You came See, into my chat to confront me on it after. No, I came in her chat to like get her to read Discord. I said, like, yeah, she, yeah, she, she felt pressured by that, my dude. And it's your opinion over whether you thought that she felt pressured by that or not is irrelevant. It's not about what you think in that situ situation it's what, what what she felt in that situation and she felt uncomfortable she didn't want to talk to you uh and yet you went you basically she said she was drunk didn't want to talk right and then you she said that to you whether whether she was drunk or not who gives a fuck she didn't want to talk at that time but you kind of like you, you pushed her into doing that so it's not wrong there yo we talking yeah dude that's really confronting such a conf it, confrontation there to like come in again again I, I i really need like anyone watching this right now needs to understand that like what you think is confronting to another person doesn't fucking matter when another person feels 
confronted. You need to be respectful of the other person in this instance. Um, yeah, your, your opinions are fucking not valid. It's not about what you think the other person should feel. It's about what the other person feels. Ugh. Ah. That and get you to, like, respond to me on Discord because I didn't know if we were going to fucking talk or not. And she's, like, trying to frame it as, like, her being forced into a conversation she didn't want to do. A conversation that she had asked me to engage in. And, and, then she, and, and then she clearly said that she didn't want to do it afterwards. And you should have accepted that. Like, it's not a big deal, but, like, you're making a, a big deal by, by continually going into that. Like, you are not the... You, you do not... You aren't the one who looks good out of this conversation right now about Empanada. About Empanada. Like, doesn't... It's not intentional, but it's just what happened. You made her feel uncomfortable about it, and that affected the entire conversation from then on. Don't apply, don't apply a fucking morality to this bullshit. Just understand, like, how one thing became another. Benefit. She says, like, I wanted you to shit on me. For and make lemonade and talk about, and talk about the situation. You can go and watch that conversation. I was, like, trying to bring up topics to talk about that we would mutually agree on. Like, I came on there to shit on her? There's no fucking way that you can watch that and, and come to that conclusion. No fucking way. She was attacking me the entire time. I was merely defending myself. And then I said, like, you know, sarcastically, I wanted to shit on you. She says, yeah. And then I said, anyway, so you blurted out, oh my god, oh my god, why did you say this thing I made? Oh my gosh, sorry about this, guys. My computer doing two things at a once. random anarchist who is my best friend. Because that's what happened. She just randomly said that. Like, we were in the middle of talking yeah, about... Yeah, and I've explained, I explained that earlier, but I'll explain it again. Uh, she was already uncomfortable uh, by feeling pressured by you into a conversation that she, she clearly did not want to have at that time. She was, she was pretty clear about not wanting to have a chat right at that point. Um, and she felt pressured by you coming into her chat and asking about it. Like, you should have been respectful of that, but hey... Can't turn back time. Um, when it comes to the blurting out, oh my gosh, like that was a legitimate thing that she was um, upset about, and she'd been thinking about it for a, a long time. When it comes to you, and she, you know, held her tongue. She doesn't want to rock, rock the boat. I can relate to that. That is how I operate a lot of the time. I don't like to bring up stuff like that because I am used to being either abused or um, rejected. Um, by people by for uh, bringing up things that I don't like. Um, I have had the I have been taught by people's responses to me bringing up things that upset me with them that um, my opinions don't matter, and so I don't do that. That that's a result of both social pressure against women and minorities, and also um, trauma. Like that's just a response of living in this fucking hellscape that uh, we call uh, a world. Um. And the reason she blurred that out is because you made light of something that she cared a lot about, and she lost her temper and brought up something that she wasn't prepared to talk about. That's it. And that would have been a fantastic conversation to have, instead of this, uh, this drama bullshit. Like There's so some, much more that know, can be talked about. Was, but you know, it was something else. Her channel or something. And she just randomly blurted that out to me. And she responds saying, Ah, I even said in that conversation that guy isn't my friend. And I said, yes, you said they were your friend, then backtrack. That is true. She was started out saying, this person is my friend. How could you say that to my poor friend? And then later on, she decided that yeah, they weren't was... actually her friend. She says, yeah, she, she wasn't really prepared for that. That, 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 that's, that. That's one of the weird parts, the way that uh, she does like rubber band a lot. It's, it's weird. I, I, I'm not used to people doing that, so I don't know where that comes from. Because they're annoying. I said, after you also noted that you engaged in the same behavior that you were moralizing about. Then she says, I said that to a neo-Nazi who was active in my Kiwi farm spread. And I said, but in the, in the conversation, you said there is no line where it would be okay, as you argued, which she did. Now she says, why are you doing this? Like, why am I doing this? Are you fucking kidding me? She says, yeah, you're acting really strange. Like, Jesus Christ, man. This is what happens when you don't interact with real people, guys. Let this be a fucking warning. Like, holy shit. I keep, like, my, my um, YouTube shit entirely separate from my real life. And that's the best way to go about these things. I don't want to be friends with anyone on here. I don't want to 
you know, talk he's not wrong. Ton or anything. He's not wrong, but there's no self awareness here, I guess. <laughs> that he's struggling with uh, his ability to communicate uh, effectively and and empathize, but that's not a moral judgment. That's just what I see. You know, I talk to other creators, like two or three of them, like once or twice a month, just like we exchange a couple of words about something. You know, they're not my friends or anything. I think this is like like a symptom of someone who just doesn't really have like any sort of separation between their real life and their online life. Because there's no fucking way that you could think that I was acting strange here. Like, imagine your friend just randomly must be able to. It must be nice to afford to be able to have a real life life. <laughs> Honestly, like, a lot of my friends are online because, like, it's a bit hard to, um, afford to hang out with friends in real life. I don't have to, like, you know, pay money for movies online. I don't have to, um, you know, go to, to go out and to the shops and have lunch with someone. Like, you know, money is fucking tight and it's much cheaper to talk to people online. Also, finding people who are accepting of uh, me as a trans woman is, like, easier online than it is um, in real life. Like, there's more more accepting people. It's, it, it's, it's, you can find communities a lot quicker, so, like, it's understandable. It's like, uh, from one trans woman to another, it's understandable that she would have more online friends and be used to um, having friendships online than um, a cis white man, like, no shade against you and your identity is just like there are larger systemic issues at play that you don't seem to be understanding here blurting out some allegations again that... like i'm only pointing out these things because i want to make lemonade and talk about like real actual systemic problems rather than than the drama bullshit like the, there's much more interesting things to talk about rather than this person is gaslighting me <laughs> right am i wrong like is is it's much more interesting to me to talk about how the, the the social implications and the reasons why a person says a certain thing and the way society interacts with that person in order to create that response you know and and empathize with other people and try and come to an understanding about like you know even people that i dislike intensely like Vorsch, understanding why he is the way he is is more interesting to me than saying this this guy this guy sucks because he is gaslighting me and told me to kill myself uh, i don't know i don't know <laughs> the, the 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 there's so many more interesting things to this conversation than what the conversation is about and i think that's hilarious in, a, in like an amicable conversation that they then force you to defend yourself against for 30 minutes while attacking you and calling you every possible name under the sun now imagine them doing that publicly live on live on stream to like an audience of a few hundred people because that's what she did if you think that's normal behavior you have a whole other thing fucking coming if you legitimately cared about the shit that you were confronting me on rather than just trying to form like um you know like get some sort of um cloud out of it or like present it i don't to think like that was a, planned. a live audience i don't think that clout was planned like dude like she she didn't want to talk to you like if that was if that was a planned out experience, then she, you must think that she's some sort of like four four dimensional chess player or something. It's like which I don't think she is. Confronted me on something that you thought that I would have no response to, which obviously she's drunk and upset. That. You would have said it to me in private, right? And and like that that shouldn't be looked at as a bad thing. And like she brushed over that topic that women are called hysterical and crazy when 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 they um, show emotions, which you know. Bad empanada is kind of falling into a little bit here, but hopefully it doesn't call her crazy or insane because, like, fuck. I'm so sick and tired of people using ableism in order to form arguments rather than, like, engage with the material material reality of the situation, try and create something better out of it. Not that it's, like, morally wrong for, you know, to just not keep things in private. I'm obviously not doing that here. But if she had really cared about that, she would have talked to me. Secure the bag. About it in private or something. She obviously didn't care about it, though, because she's said the same shit. And people who she's friends with and sucks up with say way worse shit. And as you're going to see here, she made it up anyway, okay? And then I said, I came on to talk to you about something all for you, Winfrey, because you would ask me to. And you instead did whatever the fuck that was. And then she says, yeah, I was hoping to clear it up. And I say... Shut the hell up, Jesus Christ, you have no concept of reality. Yeah, because how the fuck can you be like, yeah, I was just hoping to clear this up after that? No, you weren't. That was so fucking far from that. She's like... This is really interesting, like... 
Uh, like, so again, not throwing shade. I'm just like looking at the way that the uh, argument is structuring, and like, if 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 you can right now, like, just um, flip this for me, and uh, but, but let's let's gender swap this, right? Imagine that Vader and Panada is uh, um, female presenting and that Kefels is male presenting, okay? And look at this argument and look at the way that perspectives would be shifted and look at how unfair this is. Uh, this is something that I've experienced as a woman, is, is having to structure everything I say to a man in the most emotionless response while getting this. Like, not saying that, like, uh, Bad Empire is being emotional, overly emotional or something. It's just unfair that, like, that there is a implicit expectation there. Like Neville said, she was fucking, she fucking nailed it um, at the start of the conversation. The stupid debate bro shit that could have been, and that could have been spoken about instead of brushed aside. She doesn't have the privilege to just say whatever the fuck she wants online without bending the knee to people like Vosh or having to talk in talk respectfully to men. <laughs> yeah. Why are you telling me to shut up? I, I, I'm being nice to you. I've known you for years. No, you fucking haven't. You don't know. You don't know anything. Also, this is text and, like, obviously you can't, like... For someone, so for someone as sarcastic and dry as Bad Empanada, you cannot translate that through text, my dude. About me, sorry. And you you can read them out and give context to what you're saying, but that context was not shown through text. You God, need to understand you know, that. when you're this this much of a fucking snake, God only knows what you would do with my <sighs> actual personal information. Say gaslighting girl whilst I have the privilege of not needing to suck up to every random liberal for clout because my channel is not based on things like clarifying the necrophilia allegations. That's a reference to a video that she has on her channel. Like, look at her channel, man. I can't believe that in her talk with me, she got like indignant at me for saying that Hi. this shit isn't isn't real politics. This shit doesn't matter. Consulting my friends on her controversial tweet. Did you fuck a corpse? Bad bunny. Liar gifter manipulator. My conversation Ooh, with teams. I really want to look into um I don't know who she is, what, what, what uh, their channel name is now. Hold on. I hate that. Because I refuse to call them that. No. No. Uh, whales, bears. <sighs> Left is best. Stardust Nova. Who are they now? Oh, for fuck's sake, what is her new channel name? I don't... Bad bun. She's not called Bad Bunny anymore, and it's pissing me off. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so Cura Chats. Fucking hell, why is this? It just fucking shits me. Um, yeah, Cura Chats. Like, I want to find the actual history of this stuff because, um, she seems like another, like, 
clout farm for uh, people in the Vosh uh, debate bro circle. And all I've heard about her is that, that she's supposed to be some sort of grifter. Um, but uh, looking at the people that she interacts with, I'm just like, she interacts with people who are critical of the debate bro community. So, like, I'm not, yeah, I want to, I want, I want more information no, about I that. I want to the corner. No Andrew Callaghan, apology. At least that's like a real thing that matters. Um, talking to another streamer, why people hate me, debate with another streamer. Like, dude, come on. You're not going to tell me this is real, meaningful content. Give me a fucking break. Like, I might make my main channel content because it's a job, right? But Streamlabs, fucking cringe. It's still so infinite, so much infinitely better than that. All right, Jesus. all right, all right. We need to cancel that empanada now. He uses stream labs. Christ, give me a break. And and I'm still grounded him. about the relative unimportance of it all. But anyway, so I blocked her after that, and then I kind of realized that she was like really making herself look bad here. So I accepted another friend request from her and decided. Yeah, like, and like, it would have been nice if you guys could have talked about why that was instead of talking about like this shit that didn't matter. Fuck. To like just keep talking to her honestly and see how fucking. Honestly, if I ever if I ever blow up, I really want to just be fucking become a mediator. It would be so much so much fun to just mediate these sort of bullshit uh, Twitch drama stuff and try actually try to create something useful out of it. Zara, this can get. So she says, hi again, thank you for accepting, and I said, I genuinely kind of believe that you would have the goal to act like I was trying to farm cloud off you. She says, you said the same of me, though. Yeah, because did you see what you fucking did? I didn't do anything like that to you. What the fuck are you talking about? You, like, confronted me. Everything that I've done since then is a defensive reaction. You'd never done that. None of this would be happening. Jesus. And then I said, just, just because it's a defensive reaction doesn't mean that it's, like, a good reaction, like, Relationships 101. I'm not saying that they are in a relationship or that they're even friends. I'm just like, human interactions 101. Being defensive is not a justification for actions. I came on to There are many things that I do as a reaction, as a defensive reaction, because of the trauma that I faced in life, which are very have very negative effects on people that I love. Yeah, no, Mikey Game from I already said this. I said this right at the beginning that this could be just both for profits, which would be absolutely amazing, and I have absolutely zero problem with none. I reckon that I reckon that that's a hundred percent okay. And like that would be the best outcome for all of this. Things It'd be the most hilarious she tried outcome. To call me, I ignored it, and I said, "You trying to put on a show?" She says, "I don't care about this shit." Yes, you do, obviously. She says, yes, but not in the way you think. And then I said, I came on your stream. I'm not <laughs> live. I just want to say hi. Then ask him to call. Who the fuck calls someone without asking if they can call? William what the Biden fuck? Wanted to go over Dude. And clear up what had happened to you in Ireland. I was doing it for your benefit, not mine. I wasn't even going to go live. I only decided to at the last moment because I saw people in your chat unironically saying like, OMFG, you're going to platform bad empanada? And I thought that I should record it just in case you tried to pander to them. I was correct. Yeah, very good defensive reaction. Very good foresight for me. Always be prepared, you know, if you're a public figure, for people to just dishonestly attack you when, when they're trying to claim that, you know, that they're engaging with you for another reason. Um, yeah, so I protected myself and I was obviously right to because she did exactly that. And she says, no, because I didn't want to talk. I backed out. I made that clear. So confirmation bias then. Bullshit. She said to me 18 minutes Sending each other dollar signs to teams. Me. Remember, she had organized this with me. Wait, are they legit doing that? Or, uh, or, or are you fucking, are you fucking with me? That she was drunk, she didn't want to talk. And I thought, okay, you're drunk. We can still talk. You're drunk. Yeah, Whatever. yeah, this is, this is cringe. What the hell? What the hell just happened? Am I still alive? Am I still live? What just happened? Hold up. Hold up. No, I'm live. What the fuck? That was weird. Oh, it just my 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 chat disconnect said uh, I was dis disconnected from the server and I freaked out. I'm like, fuck! I'm getting I'm getting. I said uh, I said the words "kill" and "yourself" in too too close together. <laughs> okay, that's not that's you know that's not a reason not to talk. You know because if if there was a more profound I am alive. reason you should have told Aww. me that. So, you know, you wanted me to, like, 
not be like, oh, come on, let's talk anyway. No, 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 no. If 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 a person, especially a woman, says she's drunk and does not want to interact with you, that is the end of it. There is no negotiation from that point on. From that point on, you are being coercive, my dude. That this is this is basics of consent. Like, don't bro this. Like, obviously, this isn't like a sex thing, like a sex pest shit. But like, you are trying to coerce someone into talking with you who has, in no unclear terms, told you that they do not want to talk to you because they had been drinking. Do not say shit like, we can still talk, because you think that they are going to be okay with talking to you while drunk. That is not okay, my dude. That is cringe as fuck. You've given me, like, being honest about the reasoning, right? Like, because you claim that it was because you didn't want to talk about that shit because you didn't feel comfortable. Great, but I yeah. couldn't have known that because you didn't tell me. You told me it was just... You didn't... You would... the... I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, not sorry. Bad I'm not a, um, it, you don't need context. You, you don't, you're not, you, you don't deserve concept. You're not, uh, what's the word? You're not entitled to anyone's time or attention at the end of the day. If she did not want to talk to you at that point, that's it. You don't need to get the reasons why. And especially you don't go into her fucking Twitch chat to try and fucking get her to talk to you. That is that is crossing boundaries. And these aren't boundaries that um, you have to know. I'm sorry, you don't have to know all of these boundaries. But you need to accept that you cross those boundaries, my dude. Like, it doesn't matter if you knew about this shit or not. Understand that those were the boundaries. And drop it. And drop it. You can you can ask why someone want someone feels a certain way, but do not say let's do it anyway. It'll be fine. That's I've heard that before. I've heard that before, mostly from clients who uh, who wanted to uh, to uh, test my boundaries. So yeah. It's yeah that that that's fucked up and I yeah drunk. How is it that you weren't comfortable talking about that shit, but you were comfortable like getting into a fucking yelling confrontation with me about shit that clearly doesn't matter to you at all, and that you had? I mean, like she obviously wasn't prepared for that. That's why it became turned into that sort of shit. Like obviously she wasn't she she wasn't prepared for that if you think that she was prepared for that then you're giving her too much credit for uh that whole that for, for that whole situation you're giving you're you're yeah no, no this chat. we'll get to it again think in a second. Never think happened. give me a break and then I said, so that you didn't want to talk makes it cool than normal that you instead decided to start a confrontation about Twitter DMs to a random anarchist on Twitter two years ago when everything was calm and I clearly had no intention of farming clout. And she says, if you had no intention of doing that, why would you upload the conversation basically immediately? So you can't justify claims that I intended to do that with something that happened after the fact. The reason why I uploaded that conversation... You're too, you've done the same thing throughout this uh, conversation, though, a couple of times. You've made that assumption. So ...to protect myself, because I know how this shit fucking works. You would give that script to your editor. Your editor would try to edit it favorably to you, to try and make me look bad and to make you look Does good. Use an so editor? I preempted that by uploading the conversation myself. Fuck, I wish I had I money. I never even would have thought <laughs> would, of uploading it. If I would love to have the time and, and time. Was, I wish I had, like, you know, six months of money. So that I could just do editing and make my videos on YouTube more, more like, better and, like, actually gain an audience. Ah, oh, that'd be so cool. Something for you to upload. You know, we'd be talking about shit more relevant to you. Research more topics, to talk channel, about cooler like, stuff. I, I chose to upload it. We can dream, the fact we can dream. What you had done during the conversation. This is so fucking slimy, like, the level of gaslighting here. I hate to use mm. that word. It's so meaningless, but this is actual gaslighting. Mm, no, actually, no. Like... Both, both, both of you. Don't, neither of you have understood the term gaslighting. You almost got it. You, you were closer than Keppel's, but like the gaslighting was her calling you insane. 
and to try and uh, digital delegitimize you. Um, but even then, that's more that's not direct gaslighting. That's more like social gaslighting, which is not even what gaslighting is. That's just that's just uh, libel and defamation, not gaslighting. But yeah, um, gaslighting is where is an abusive act in order to try to attempt to brainwash someone by calling into question their mental capacity for um, remembering a particular event properly. Um, and neither of you are directly doing that, really, at all. I need to make a fa fake pro capitalism video. I don't know. That would just. I think that would be the one that pushes me over the edge. <laughs> I don't think I can do that without crying. <laughs> and she accused me of it in the conversation. She says, I don't care, you are correct. Just drop the fucking word. It's all theater, it's all about cloud and money. I don't have any presence that I'm pretense that I am doing politics or activism. She was on the fucking brink of crying in our conversation because I dared to, to claim that like the shit that we engage in, this sort of drama shit, isn't important and isn't real politics. Just look at her fucking channel. We just went over it, right? You, you're not going to tell me that's real politics or activism. Give me a fucking break. And then I said, because you had literally... Can Con just confronted me out of nowhere about the absolute dumbest shit ever, yet it's why I uploaded it, and tried to frame it as something deeply serious, and then she just changes the subject. You Again, I expect it. I, 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 um, I, I explained, like, how, why I think that that um, came to pass. Basically, like, you, the, the bad empanada stepped on a fucking land landmine that he still didn't re doesn't realize that he stepped on, um, which could have been a conversation. Kevils could have raised that conversation. She didn't have to, but like it could have, it would have been much better. It would have been a much more um, productive conversation to have. Um, but yeah, like you, you'd made her feel uncomfortable, and then you made light of uh, something that she cared about, and that she lost her temper and um, uh, brought up something that had pissed her off in the past as a response as as basically a defensive response to um to feeling pressured and dismissed like that's that's the reason why that happened i gotta admit though exiting the convo by saying logan call gave my cat an abortion was really funny hi i have a period and we're just looking at stupid internet drama ha 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 i'm laughing also 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 steven crowder is bisexual so i or said was was I guess bisexual two options we talk about the island stuff, or you pretend that you're outraged by Twitter DMs to a random imperialist asshole from two years ago. There was no other potential choice. And I mean, yeah, that's the- It's- hey, it's- it's my stream. Everything is weird. You would make a communist video about how capitalism works than saying this is positive and act like I support child labor, etc. I'd do like an anarcho-capitalist thing, because that, that- that- that's the most fun- fun shit. And I'd have to be playing Minecraft. It'd have to be a Minecraft anarcho-capitalist anarcho one, where I explain how in Minecraft uh, proves that anarcho-capitalism works, with 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 no with no irony. That'd be amazing. Point. If you don't want to talk, then I think I think that would be a little bit too ironic, and people would think would take it serious. Talk about the thing that we were originally planning to talk about. Does that mean your Seriously? only other option? Words. I'm when good at them. Come to talk was to like accuse me of something that you yourself admit had never actually happened and scream at me about it and call me like a piece of shit say that i'm gaslighting you say that i'm a misogynist for trying to contest your allegations like give me a fucking break what is wrong with this this is an absolute fucking snake i didn't want to pile on to kethels like i was giving her the benefit of the doubt up until this point oh ba basically um they they had a stray they they basically basically uh Keffels wanted to talk to um bad empanada on stream at some point to talk about uh the issues she had um while she was being um attacked by kiwi farms and being constantly doxxed and constantly swatted um uh, and and a lot of the things around that uh which would have been an interesting conversation to had have when it came when it came down to actually talking she didn't she she like wasn't emotionally prepared to have a debate like that which is fucking fair enough because talking about things that talking about people trying to threaten your life by uh utilizing the police against you um you know like that shit is traumatic and obviously so she said that she was drunk and didn't want to talk um, and then um, Bad Empanada pressured her into coming on to into uh, letting him onto the stream, which she eventually did. So she was she she wasn't emotionally ready to have a debate to have a debate a debate with him on anything. Um, she felt pressured by him. He didn't real he he 
doesn't realize these two things, but, like, it's not really something that men get taught in society, so I understand why he doesn't understand those things, doesn't take anything away from the way she feels. Um, and then once on stream, uh, he made light of, um, you know, her, a lot of the things that she faces as a female streamer um, online that, uh, again, he wouldn't be aware of because he is not a trans, he's not transgender or female. Um, and uh, she lost her temper and brought up drama from years ago. Um, and he was just like, what the fuck is this? She wasn't prepared to talk about it. He wasn't prepared to talk about it. It was a huge shit show. And now they're both making videos about it. Um, head cannon, monkey game from the moon is, has a good head cannon that this is all prepared and planned. And they're both just farming clout, which I think is fucking hilarious. If that's true, that, that would be hilarious. But yeah, it, it, it was a shit show. Um, Keffel's said some dumbass shit. So did Bad Empanada. It's just it's just a fun, a fun shit show, and I'm trying to make lemonade from it. Point, but a lot of the shit that people accuse her of is bullshit. But like, just her on a personal level, being an absolute lying fucking <sighs> snake. That is clearly clearly the fucking case. Just looking at this, and she says it's not clear. option free, not given to peer pressure, and schedule the conversation for later. Like she's trying to frame it as peer pressure. You could have just said no. If you're not, she did. She did say no, dude. She did. She said, "I'm drunk. I don't want to talk right now." And then you said, "It's okay if you're drunk. We can talk anyway." She said no. You might not have understood that as a no, but that is not her fault. Decided to go live with me. I never would have. Like, th like this is how deep fucking set these like patriarchal values are in our society that even someone like someone as far on the left as bad empanada cannot understand like coercion and 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 accept and accepting women's boundaries i mean like it, it's it's like very low tier misogynism misogynism and it's not like him purposefully being misogynistic it's just social shit it's just the fact that the so that that he doesn't realize this it's just show it's an example of how pervasive um this is within society and how normalized it is within society like there's so much that can be talked about there's so much interesting things that can be talked about in this whole shit show you know how how you know how the the women are expected to not be um how women are called hysterical for like showing any emotion in anything they write, but men can say whatever the fuck they want without being called hysterical. And you can see that by just gender swapping the DMs. You can see the way that the language runs differently and the way that she's trying to appear to be calm and not set off the man in the conversation like again this isn't saying that that uh, bad empanada is an evil misogynistic like woman hater no that's this is these are just social things like i i you can't hate someone for not learning this one probably more i bad empanada probably understands uh feminism a lot better than most people but this is stuff that this is stuff that you need to actively unlearn and if you don't know that about yourself then you're not going to actively do that are you unfortunately this is something that needs to be taught and something someone has to choose to learn um it sucks yeah um and and yeah again this is not like andrew callahan levels of coercion this is just normal every everyday stuff that only women notice because men don't notice this shit do me a favor next time you're having a conversation having a heated discussion with a woman look at the way that they've they're structuring the way that they talk with you compared to how they would uh, structure their their conversation with another woman like it is very different they code we we code switch so that we don't upset the man we're taught to do this by society and we don't realize it. You know, taking it personally or anything. You just told me, I don't feel comfortable talking about this right now. Bam! Easy. Instead, you told me that you were drunk. So I said, like, ah, oh, come on. You're just drunk. We can still chat. It's whatever. Yes. So that's... 
Yeah, sorry, that that is the that is that is creepo shit. And that's sorry. not the only that's option. Creepy shit. Because you did go live, right? So <sighs> between these three options, I'm pretty sure there's others. I'm pretty sure, you know, you didn't you didn't have to turn it into like a confrontation. You didn't have to do that. There was no reason that you had to do that. No one forced you to do that. You chose to do that. So give me a fucking break. And I said, you know, there's no peer pressure. You said could have said you were uncomfortable to me. But all I saw you say was that you were drunk, which seems far less serious. And she says, I wasn't even drunk. That's terrible because being drunk was the only excuse for your behavior. I wasn't even drunk. I was trying to opt out of the conversation because it was making me upset. But okay, we hadn't so actually talked yet. So how like that that's the first part. That's that that is actual gaslighting. That's the only that's one of I think there's been twice in this whole thing where there's actual gaslighting taking place. That's that's what gaslighting is. What he just said then. It's not the whole I disagree with you on this. It's you're drunk, that's why you're acting like that. That's gaslighting. I was it already making you upset? You told me that you were drunk beforehand. And I said, but either way, no, that's not the only option. The only option for how to treat someone who was coming on to talk to you as a friend and clear up something publicly that we had already cleared up in private was not to randomly scream about Twitter DMs that you don't care about anyway. And then she says here, also, apparently, you didn't even send those... Also, also, like, um, no self-awareness there from Bad Empanada that the reason she said she was drunk to get out of the conversation because because... Women are not allowed to show any emotion to men, otherwise they're called crazy and hysterical. And that was obviously on the forefront of her mind, because that's one of the very first things she said in conversation, which she brushed over. Maybe that had something to do with the reasons why she got so upset. Again, like, there are no innocent parties. I'm just pointing out the obvious... Well, the obvious, uh, the obvious as I see it, like, interaction could have gone better. DMs to my friend. Apparently you sent it to some random left com who is now suspended from Twitter. Zero idea what that is even about. Incredible, amazing honesty here from someone who definitely was not just trying to suck up to, like, certain streamers who don't like me and who basically define their entire online activity in, like, this prison. Ah, uh, dude, like, you can assume that, but you need receipts to actually prove that. Like, again, you... I'm hearing, I'm hearing that Keffels keeps on sucking up to Vosh, but like, I'm not seeing the receipts yet, so it'd be nice to see the receipts. Even if she was sucking up to Vosh, like, what the fuck choice does she have? She has a choice of sucking up to Vosh or, um, not having a career. Of not like Cause, because Vosh literally ruins other trans women's careers. If, if they disagree with him. What I talk about, like the subjects that I talk about, what my political positions are, but rather who I like and who I dislike. That's how this works, right? All that really matters is who's saying what, not what they're saying. And Kefels is so fucking clearly, regardless of how much she's going to deny and how much she denied it in these chat logs, trying to suck up to people who she knows don't like me by just, you know, trying to burn the bridge. Why is this not working, by the way? Hold on a second. Just give me a sec. I need I need to need to find out why my soundboard ain't my soundboard ain't working. Oh no wait that's not it. This one. All right. How about now? Why? Why is it not working? Did I lose all of my uh, macros or something? My desktop default. Yes, citation needed. Yay. Why is it not working? Hold on a second. Hold on. Settings. Hotkeys. Wait a second. Is that it? Yay! Numlock was on. Ah, oh, fixed it. All right, cool. That, that, that's why it, yeah. Drew me in, in a way that she probably thought was going to go a lot better for her, but clearly did not in the end. And I said, even if you have... If, if you think that she planned that... If she, if you think that she was trying to cl farm clout from you by asking, by trying to cancel the stream, and then after you, like, pressured her into letting you on, starting that, like, then you think, then you must think that she's playing 5D chess, which is such a leap in logic that I, I don't understand why he's not catching this.
I don't want to talk about it. Makes it makes no absolutely, sense. Absolutely no sense that you did that. She says, I wasn't screaming your audio levels were scuffed. And I don't know. I, I think it makes perfect sense, but I guess I've got an outsized perspective on Who cares? this. You were just like yelling at me with like a barrage of insults and shit. Referring to that as screaming is totally fine. And I said, you throw out ableism, ableism a lot, but if anything is insane, it's That's that you're here lighting. trying to argue otherwise. Like that. You know, like, dude, dude, you, and, and Radam Panada is doing, literally doing the thing that Keffel's, um was um, anxious about right now. Right now, he's doing exactly the things that she was anxious about and spoke to him about, like, women being called hysterical and crazy. Like, you were literally screaming at me. She's like, dude, dude, dude. Check your language. Check your language and think about the way you're saying things to people. It sucks, I know. And, um, it's... It, but... Understanding why the things you say have an effect on other people is is helpful to interacting with like people. But again, this is all about clout. So you know what I meant by that was that like she, you know, what she did is what was wrong. What she did there is what was untoward. And it doesn't matter if she wasn't un if she wasn't comfortable with the conversation because we ended up talking anyway. And no one forced her to do the things that she did when we had talked anyway. We could have just had a, you know, you. a nice, calm chat about the topics that I brought up at the beginning. But she chose to bring that up out, literally out of nowhere. Go and watch the stream. It was so sudden. Like, it's unbelievable. She responds, I am ableist. Who cares? That's fine. Yeah, I am insane. I won't deny that. But you know you are less of a pussy than introverted by far. We can agree on that, right? What does that mean? And I just said, okay, good luck with the whole endlessly sucking up to liberal streamers for clout thing. Really makes it seem like you genuinely care about the things you denounce. When you spend so much time trying to cater to the audience of people who tell trans people to... Yeah... I wasn't screaming your audio levels were scuffed. I mean, yeah, they, 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 they weren't scuffed. There was just no, um, n neither, neither people, like, um, yeah. N neither person in the, um, stream was, um, like, had any audio levelization. Ah, oh, welcome to the stream. First time chat from illduce02. Welcome. Welcome to the Shady Harbor. I hope you have fun. They kill themselves en masse and threaten to rape their harassment victims. You know, what else is there to say? So, and she says, I don't, holy shit. And then I just fucking blocked her and denied her friend request from here. I don't even know what to say about this. What the fuck is wrong with this person? Why are people like this? Why are people just fucking unable to assess, you know, political positions, arguments on their own merit? For the same reason that some people are unable to um, assess emotional uh, needs and emotional understanding from, to, between people. Rather than just based Some people are good at things, some people are bad at things. Is essentially the, the root cause behind this happening. Basically, yes, I... every, everyone needs to have the same level of understanding of politics and emotional intelligence to exist within society. There is no in-between. Critique everyone. I, you know, if someone says something dumb that I disagree with. I don't give a shit if I'm on, if I'm on good terms with them or not. Um, I'm happy to critique it. And that's basically what yeah, that, is. That, that wasn't the issue in the, the spectrum that these people operate in, which is, um, you know, being nice to people who are nice to me and mean to people who they perceive as having been mean to uh, them. Man. And obviously I'm perceived as having been mean to her friends, aka Vorsch, a known sexual harasser. It is funny that they, that it, it is, it is funny to me, endlessly hilarious to me that like, the, the the one thing that isn't going to bother me is the thing that they uh, try to uh, attack me with. It's it's hilarious. <laughs> people to kill themselves en masse. So hey, I Samantha! Be because that's how and psycho terrorist. It's Welcome. just such a fucking joke. This shit, you know, the logs honestly speak for themselves. What the fuck is wrong amazing. with this person, man? What the fuck is wrong with this entire sphere? This is just such a fucking joke. This shit is why I am so glad that I have never tried to make friends from, with other creators or with fans or anything or with like anyone in this internet politics because it's just a, such a fucking joke, you know? All I want to do is just, you know, stream once a week, upload some shitty clips from it and make video essays because that's my job. Um, whatever the fuck this was about, 
I don't want any fucking part in it. What a fucking ridiculous joke, man. Anyway, that's all. You know, do with this. Look, like Moses Trame, then tab over to see that shit. Lol. <laughs> Always fun with trolls. It is funny. It's just funny, like, cause, cause, cause yes, I'm an, I'm, an, uh, I'm streaming under the politics uh, label. I'm openly transgender. Like, I have it in my bio. I have it in my tags. And you think that calling me a man is gonna upset me? Oh, honey. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, you'd think that people would have some originality, but there is absolutely zero originality from the debate bro, bro community or from trolls. Ah, uh, but at least they push the algorithm. You're good for something. At least, at least they go uh, jerk off to uh, transgender pornography and uh, hopefully pay for uh, someone's surgery. At least they're doing something good with their lives. But yeah, or they're just basically, um, uh, they're basically Steven Crowder, who is fucking, or was fucking bi. I, I didn't know this, but, uh, he was, he, he talked about it. Steven Crowder was bisexual. You heard it, you heard it from probably Hassan first, but, but you heard it here first. Is that a fucking dragon? Why is there a dragon? Why is there a dragon in this town? Like, uh, why? Uh, okay. Why is there a dragon here? Why, why are you hanging out here? Really? The dragon's everywhere now? No? What the hell? <sighs> Soon. Yeah. Dang. How many videos are left? In, in this thing. Kev Bad Empanova won't leave me alone and it's creepy. Um, da, 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 da. What was the other close one? Bad Bunny. Oh yeah, and I'm not going to go through all of, the, all of them. But uh, not going to get time to do that one. But uh, so this is... This is the first one. Gas blatantly lies and gaslights in search of cloud. Bad Empanada won't leave me alone and it's creepy. Kathos is a massive liar, and the evidence proves it. So... ...video, and it will show them that extremely quickly. Yeah, that's all fucking hilarious, man. What a joke. Wait a second, which one am I on? Okay, so this is the video yeah, I that... chose to upload it after the fact because... Yeah, 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 that was the one we just watched. I'm pretty sure we finished it. Okay. Why does it keep on going um, back to 14? Fuck this was about. I don't want any fucking part in it. Yeah, what that was a ridiculous it. joke, man. Anyway, I'm on a record concerning Crowder. You know, do oh, yeah? What you will. Dear dun, God, dun, man, dun, 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 dun. You're on record from long ago? Ages ago? Oh, 2022. Yeah, yeah. Mapped by little associations and viewership. What is this? Who is this? <laughs> True. That's it. Mainstream media mapped by political association viewership. Thoughts? Input? So, sorry, Matto. Being gay doesn't actually make you liberal. Ask Ruben Report and Crowder. This is so weird. Liberal. Wait, where is Crowder? I don't think Crowder's in that. I, I have no idea who half of these people is, uh, but I know that Don Lemon uh, got shitty, got, got uh, annoyed at, um... What? There's another video? Uh... Pew. What is this video? Yeah, 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 that, I've got that one up. I've got that one up. Mainstream pundits. Ah, for indies. Again, like, I, I don't know who half of those people are because we have completely different news outlets in Australia. We don't get Fox News. We get um, Sky News, which is basically the what the Australian version, which is lame. I, American news always uh, surprises me because there's just the way they talk is just 
wild to me. Like, the way Tucker Carlson talks about news, it's like, a, he, he's more like, because like, he's treated as an actual, you know, um, anchor host, rather than, um, like, a daytime, like, talk show host. It's it's weird, like, um, there's a different dynamic in America, I swear. In Australia, like, news is boring. <laughs> in America, it has to have explosions and lights and and sounds and stuff but yeah then the because the, there was this one and then yeah yeah okay this is this one's only hey, everyone so, so there's been a conclusion to the whole situation that i have with bad empanada like she has a different audio level to his like that's 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 why he kept on saying for screaming but please don't accuse women of screaming at you that that we're not you're just you just have feelings that are hurt <laughs> <laughs> and you're not and you don't want to listen to what we're saying so yeah so after i put in my most recent video he added me back on discord and he said keffels look we've been friends for a really long time can we please bury the hatchet and i can't stay mad at him like we've known each other for so long i was on a school field trip to australia you know and i met him what? at an aquarium because he was from the Australian class that they also brought, so there could be a cultural exchange. What? And, you know, we stayed in contact after that for a long time. We played RuneScape together. We played Habbo Hotel together. Okay, so okay, so that that makes sense. All right, if, so if she's if she's a RuneScape play, escape player, it all makes sense now. We played it all makes sense. Source together. You know, we really got into Team Fortress two Counter together. Strike Source. played oh. heavy, and I played medic. We have a lot of good memories together. And, you know, Jeffrey, I love you, man. I'm really glad you could come to your senses. Because our friendship's really precious. And I have a surprise for you. I got a ticket. And I am going to Argentina to see you. This time next week, I'm going to be hanging out with you. And we can stream together. And things can be how they used to be. Like when we were kids. Like, fuck all this streaming bullshit. This is all fake. Let's just live the life we want to live. Let's be Betty. Let's be buddies again. I can't wait to see you, man. I love you so much. I don't get it. I just, I'm sorry. Maybe I, maybe I don't understand American humor, but like, I'm used to jokes having a point. Like, I've noticed in the video, I noticed in the comment section of this that um, it's satire. Wait, uh, Team Four Star, Heavy and Medic, Team, wait, Team Fortress 2, Team Four Star, uh, Keffels, I don't get the joke, sarcasm, I never know when you're serious or when you're kidding, like, obviously this is supposed to be some kind of joke, but, like, it's not satire, uh, chaotic energy from these short form vids, Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, someone else will have to understand, explain to me all the references to that, because it's obviously refer referencing stuff that I have no idea. Probably probably some, like, probably people who watch her streams. Yeah, it sounds like a copy pasta, but it's probably some sort of, like, really, really parasocial shit. Like, you know, people that, the kind of stuff that you would only know if you were part of, if you were, like, a regular chatter. You know what I mean? It's just, just, feels like an in-joke, and, like, that, I mean, like, if, if it's funny to someone, it's, uh, hold on a second. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent interested. I. I. Yeah. This just seems dumb. Seems dumb. I don't know. It's the kind of joke that you would make with your friends in like Discord chats, but like making an entire video about it is just like cringe. It's just like it's it's joking at other people's expense for no other reason. It's it's making fun of Ad and Panada through like in jokes basically. It's just like petty and. 
gross and stuff, and it only makes sense if, like, they're both grifting. Which I hope they both are. Ugh, this one's a half an hour long. Is this the video? And how do you yeah, think absolutely. how do you think sliding into people's DMs and telling them to kill themselves is going to advance your political agenda? I am interested to read her chat throughout this, to be honest. Like can you just don't I don't even know if today is a Alright, King starts thinking you be yourself, be nice, be good, be kind, screw the haters, based as F. A good day for a conversation with Bad Empanada. Like I don't like, I don't know if that's smart, honestly. Yeah, because, I don't know, would it be good content? Yes, probably. Do I want to do it? Yes, probably. But, like, right now, I don't, like, I don't think I could, like, have a serious conversation. Like, I don't, I don't think this is right today. I think I'm going to cancel it. I think I'm just going to hang out. The energy's lacking, right? Like, I can't do it. Am I going to postpone the chat? Yeah, I think I'm going to postpone the chat. Like, I feel like that's a bad idea, honestly. Like, I don't think I can do that today. I think I'm just going to hang out. I have 20 minutes to decide whether or not I should, uh, I should. I'm reading the chat as well. It's a cut version. Yeah, well, I'm interested in, in the chat. Where's pierogi then? Like, I can't Energy do it. Am I going to postpone the chat? Yeah. I hope you feel better. She's not drunk. She's just happy. It's just special. I take one sip of martini, say I need crack. Everyone flips out. So, obviously, they were talking about drinking, so I don't think that it wasn't... I don't, like, she's probably tipsy or something. I so. think I'm going to post... I'm interested in receipts. I like analyzing this the shit. Chat. Like and looking into chats and trying to figure out where people's minds are at and actually get a background before actually making an opinion. Like, I feel like that's a bad... Legalized medicinal... Bad okay. idea, honestly. Like, I don't think I can do that today. Chat, you haven't seen Drank for Drunk Falls. Yeah, I think she's just had a... Yeah, she's she's been drinking. She's... I just noticed, like, she has a martini and whatever that drink is. Okay, so she has been drinking. And I'm trying to remember... I think I'm just gonna hang out. I have 20 minutes to decide whether or not I should, uh, I should debut Bad Empanada. Sorry, I keep pausing to read the chat. Uh... Someone, someone got banned. How the F did English colonize the whole planet? Run all spice, blah, blah, blah. What is a woman? Who cares? I'm a woman. Is it a type of olive? I heard Matt Wash doesn't know what a woman is. Did my sex buddy Vosh? If not, then woman. Really? I just went live? All right. All right. Bad Empanot. Um, why are your chatters harassing me? I love it. Why the... Wait, which chatters? Which chatters? Which chatters were harassing? I hang out. I have 20 minutes to decide whether or not I should, uh... How do you get pink name? You need to buy thigh high socks. Uh, I should debut. You know, blind. Bad empanada. Is it a type of olive? Matt Walsh doesn't know what a woman is. Did my sex is. buddy Vosh? If hot, then woman. Really? I just went based. live. All right. What Bad is a woman? Not... Me, I am. Um, Identify why are as a problem. <laughs> is it vibes? Holy. Harassing. Should. Triggered. Wanna... Triggered. We should ban all women. Uh, whatever you do, don't make a documentary. So, like, what? What? Who was harassing her in chat? I'm confused. So, like, someone comes into chat. Did, does your sex pest buddy Vosh tell you to bail an empanada? Where? What the fuck is this? I'm just genuinely sad that you start platforming shitty people so they can pretend they're not shitty people. I'm genuinely sad that you are so fucking stupid that you didn't even understand the purpose of why I had Keemstar on the show and that I humiliated him. You platformed him? Holy fuck! What is with these people? You don't- 
who is she talking to? Like, she's not talking to chat. I'm so confused. Like, she doesn't seem to be talking to chat. I don't know what platforming means. Like, are you that fucking dumb that you think platforming is bringing someone on your stream with 5 million YouTube subscribers? Who is I she talking platformed to? platformed by him. That was the fucking opposite of what happened. My neck okay? Holy is my neck okay? It's okay. It's just, I'm just like, I'm looking at the, the screen very closely because it's very small. I'm trying to like read the chat. Ugh. Ah. But it is hurting all the time from like, you know, not having, um, a, 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 keep it straight. <laughs> I'm not straight. <laughs> Shit, like no more, no more of this. No more fucking idiots, okay? I, I was having a really chill stream, and then all of this shit happened. What the fuck? Am I platforming on, bad I'm, empanada I'm, or not? Get I'm the putting, fuck I'm out of my it chat. You're banned. All right, now I'll have. I'm I'm really lo looking for this. I, I'm I'm looking for the chatters that she's don't feed the trolls. Which By trolls? Him. That was the fucking opposite of what happened. Holy shit! Been rattling Twitch chatters. What Twitch chatters? I'm no, I'm like, so no more, fucking no confused. More of this. Like uh, I'm I'm looking for the people that she's supposed to be talking to. Like who is she talking no to? No more fucking idiots. Okay. I, I was having a really chill stream, and then all of this shit happened. Am I platforming bad empanada or not? Oh, these are bad. Are the, oh, these are bad empanadas. Idiot Sims raiding into the Twitch chat. Libs is acting up with all the Twitch chat trolls. Twitch chat trolls. Which is this? So wait. Is so is this chat a different chat to Twitch? Then. Oh fuck! I'm gonna have to like fucking find it. I guess. <sighs> Top clip. Wait, why am I here? What the fuck? That freaked me the fuck out! I'm like, why am I on the devil's screen? Ah! <laughs> Okay. Ah! Please, not not right now. Uh, debate on whether or not I should have platformed all the marbles. Was it five days ago or? So she's wearing different clothes in these ones. Let's have a look. I just want to see the Twitch chat is all. Like, I want to see, I want to see receipts. I don't like hearing, I, I just, I just want to see the fucking receipts. Uh, so... She said people were idiots if they didn't realize it was her humor that she knew he wasn't for real. What? Okay, so... I don't care. Okay... Investigation is indeed required, but out of the 87 necrophiliacs category... Necrophiliac, what? Yeah. So this is no, that's not the same outfit. Fuck. What? Which? Where? Where is it? We are so back. Maybe three days ago. Wait, was this three days ago? This could be it. 
Sorry to bully you all. I'm just, yeah. Come on. Okay, the, yeah, 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 this was it, this was it. Okay. Yeah, okay, so, so the two chats are different. Alright, that makes more sense now. I don't know what chat that is. Maybe it's Discord chat. Where is dropping? Alright. Like, I, I want to turn my stream into a place where we chill. Walking to the bathroom after she just turned my gut inside out. No. It, fr it frustrates the shit out of me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Should you become a CIA agent? Filet, right? They're okay. I definitely want that plushie, though. I have some streams where I, I'm... <sighs> ah, okay. Some... Here we go. It's not about benefiting from it. It's literally... All right, here we go. I don't know who he is person. All I know... Shit. You didn't. Um, I might have sent it to them. Can you say if you have... Saying... This. Why I watch the drama, I mean, like, I, I listened... All right. White people cooking. White people cooking. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't feed no the trolls. More, no more of this. No more fucking idiots, okay? Subscribers. I got platformed by him. That was the fucking opposite of what happened. Is this a Twitch chatter? The Twitch chatters are like the fucking stupidest people. Stream on delay? Why? Twitch chat is weird. Holy shit. Platforming is not when you just have someone on your platform. That's yeah, just just fucking ban them, okay? That, that that fucking person is like a. People still moaning about the keen thing. Definitely did DMCA thing. God speaks with Kevlar. Tanky is a cute name for sleepers top. I thought. Do you think it proves they're not shitty people? Put the stream on delay. Twitch Twitch chatter can confirm. Uh, Twitch chatter. People think blah blah blah. Stupidity. Blah 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 blah. blah. The trolls are suddenly coming from some fuckface's trout. Da, 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 da. I think that. Um, wait, was this listening only? No. Oh, there's no fucking. There's no fucking like history of this shit because Holy they've been shit. banned. No more. No more of this. No more fucking idiots. Okay. No mercy will be given for those found guilty of aiding or consorting with yeah. cult members. I, I was having a really chill stream, and then all of this shit happened. The other chill, have I considered I'm unironically evil? That's so true. You should give me your life savings. You don't need them as much as I do. This is me watching your content for the first time. Well, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. Is you watching my content? Oh, hi. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome in. It's nice to see you. <laughs> I got my wrap. Now, okay, we're doing this. Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't see any of this. I'm sorry. Why am I platforming bad empanada? Oh, here we go. Give me, give me, give me, like... Like, okay, so this is, this is the, the point. Get the fuck out of my chat. I'm so confused. Like, yeah, because I can't, because she doesn't uh, display Twitch chat on stream, like, I can't actually look at that. 
I, I can't, I can't feel comfortable, uh, yeah. I get the fuck out of my chat, you're banned. Alright, now I'll have the chat with Bad Empanada. Hello. Hi. You from your chat? I, I had to. Oh shit, hold on. I have fucking, um... Oh my god. Sorry, sorry, one moment. My sound is coming from my speakers instead of my headphones. Okay, hello. Hi. I figured out how to use technology. What are we debating? Um, what do you want to debate? To keep on talking about them going to chat, but like, there's no chat logs. Fucking hell. Hate that. It's, I don't know, like, I don't even know, like, where to go from here. Primarily, you know, we have to stay ground. Like that to people. I mean, I'm not going to bother going to try and find them, because how the fuck would I even do that? Like, just... Political ideology is advocating for ethnic cleansing, but saying... ...understand, like, this 101 America someone shit. Just, like, get... Mansplaining? What? Your channel's about theater. You've already. What the fuck is the mansplaining? Advance your political agenda. No one is here to advance a political agenda. All this is theater. You know that. Uh, wait, 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 wait. How is how is Pat and Panada um, mansplaining here? Yeah, like what? Okay, that's weird. That's weird, but okay. Yeah, it was it, it it was it was pretty shitty. It was pretty misogynistic to like pressure into the the stream, but like, okay. U.S. imperialist policies the world over. The moderator takes exception to it. You know, this... They impersonating a, a minor YouTuber on Twitter. That's that's up. Is this gaslighting behavior? No. I quote tweeted that a couple of times. Why am I platforming bad empanada? Oh, here we go. I just want to see, like, if people just pile into chat before the stream starts, because that's normal for people to pile into chats and and attack each other like i don't understand like has she never spoken to another person on stream before give me, give me but yeah she she fucking does not want to talk to him she's not in the fucking place because she's been she's dealing with uh some trolls apparently which are banned so i can't like, see what they fucking said am i platforming bad empanada or not get the fuck out of my chat you're banned all right now i'll have the chat with bad empanada Hello. Hi. I had to. Oh shit! Hold on. I have fucking. Oh. Oh my god. He. Sorry, she banned. You? She. She banned him from her chat. Coming from my speakers instead of my headphones. Hello. Hi. I figured out how to use technology. What are we debating? Um, what do you want to debate? Um, nothing. What's the latest drama? Latest drama? I don't fucking know. Something about Hunter Avalon and being an idiot, but that's not, that's not new. It's just random Xeno gender shit that's really trivial. Well, at least he's getting some attention. He needs it. He's, he's lost like 300,000 subscribers in a year. Good on him. Yeah, I think he started to realize that him becoming a liberal isn't going to make him money. Yeah, so he has yeah, to nothing. To I can't. There, there's absolutely nothing I can fucking get from any of this. Fuck, nothing. There's no, there's no benefit to me for to, for me watching this at all because I can't like I can't see the history. I can't tell the context. Fuck it. And this is the last uh, video made in this whole saga. From Keffels, um, yeah. Oh man, this one is an absolute do- Oh, I didn't watch this one. So this is, this is the one that I haven't watched. Alright. 
Okay, well, that, that we're going to leave on a cliffhanger, right? Like, this time. <laughs> wow, that, that that's a lot of... Uh, that, that was a lot of uh, bullshit. So, yeah, what we have here is just... Just drama, like... Enjoy it. It's not real. These are not real people. These are different uh, different brands having um, fake fights on the internet. Um, but what we can get from this is the fact that Ben and Panada shouldn't have pressured uh, Kevils into a conversation. Kevils um, bringing up that stuff was a defensive act uh, in response to be feeling uncomfortable, obviously. Uh, to, it's, it was obvious to me, but it might not be obvious to someone who has not had to experience that sort of stuff. No shade against Bad Ambinata or Kefels. This is just like how human interaction works, and it doesn't get better unless we learn how to do that. And we shouldn't expect people to just know this shit without having to learn it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I just hope that this is all just some fucking hilarious, um, hilarious, um, psyop that they both come up with. Like, that, that's the only, the only, that's the only thing that I can think of that would make this, like, any more than just a shit show. Um, it's, it, 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 it was interesting to learn um that Kev the Kev the picture with the cop that Keffel's made that was done out of necessity as is her reluctance to um attack Vorsch in any way um i have, i have not seen any evidence of her you know like um siding with Vorsch on anything um i'm if there's receipts out there um i don't give a fuck um even if she is does side with Vorsch on things uh, i don't give a fuck my dislike of Vorsch does not extend to the necessity of trans women to please him in order to have platforms because that's the fucking issue with this not Kefels herself okay so like if she if she likes sides with Vorsch on stuff i'm sorry but that's how she keeps a platform going Again, I point to any other trans person who has disagreed with um, with um, Vosh. Uh, he sends his he literally directs his community to attack these people, and he wants us to kill ourselves. He's never fucking he's never taken back those words, um, and he uh, sexually assaults uh, his pet lizard. So, in his own words, like that's what happens. So, yeah, I'm never going to have a platform because I'm never going to like, I'm never going to um, accept uh, Vosh. Like, I fucking hate that dude. Like, anyone anyone who wants me to kill myself for disliking him um, can go to hell. Uh, fuck you, I'm not doing it. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live my entire life out out of spite to Vosh. Thank you for that. Um, yeah. I think that'll be it for today, though. Moving on for about four hours. I think next week, um, so Sunday night, I'll be doing that last video and anything else that comes up between me here, like now and then. Um, because it is absolutely hilarious and entertaining to me to uh, go over this uh, pointless Twitch drama. And I hope that you've all had fun as well. Um, yeah. And, uh, I guess last message to... Oh, <laughs> oh, just Samantha banned him. Band him. Oh. A <laughs> last message to, um, Ildius, um, who tried to troll failingly. Um, do better. Troll, troll smart. Actually come up with something, like, better. Like Corvo Bian Bianco could have done something. Like you know, like I'm 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 horribly like um, self conscious about my Adam's apple. You could have attacked that. Go for the specifics. You know, attack the low voice. Attack the things, the dysphoric things. You know, make it entertaining at the very fucking least. Um, but yeah. Until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and take care of someone else, even the trolls, because you know. This is not real, it's just a game. <laughs>
<laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I do. I do have a push-up bra, so you're not technically false. But is it fake though? Is it the Matrix? They're not ones and zeros holding my boobs up. Like the push-up bra is real. <laughs> Love you all. Bye.